ರಾಮಾನುಜದಯಾಪಾತ್ರಂ ಜ್ಞಾನವೈರಾಗ್ಯಭೂಷಣ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ವೇದಾಂತದೇಶಿ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀನಾಥ ಸಾರಂಭಾ ನಾಥಯ ಮುನಮಧ್ಯ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಯೋ ನಿತ್ಯಮಚ್ಯುತ ಪದಾಂಬುಜಯುಗ್ಮರುಗ್ಮವ್ಯಾಮೋಹತಸ್ತಿತರಾ ತೃಣಾಯೇನೆ ಅಸ್ಮದ್ಗುರೋರ್ಭಗವತೋಸ್ಯ ದೈಕಸಿಂಧೋ ರಾಮಾನುಜಸ್ಯ ಚರಣೌ ಶರಣ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೆ ಮಾತಾ ಪಿತಾ ಯುವತಯಸ್ತನೆಯ ವಿಭೂತಿಸ್ಸರ್ವೇವ ನಿಯಮೇನ ಮದನ್ವಯಾನ ಆದ್ಯ ನ ಕುಲಪತೇರ್ವಕುಳಾಭಿರಾಮ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ತದಂಗ್ರಿಯುಗಳ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಮೂರ್ಧನಾ ಭೂತ ಸರಸ ಮಹದಾಹ್ವಯಭಟ್ಟನಾಥ ಶ್ರೀಭಕ್ತಿಸಾರ ಕುಲಶೇಖರ ಯೋಗಿವಾಹನ್ ಭಕ್ತಾಂಗ್ರಿರೇಣು ಪರಕಾಲ ಯತೀಂದ್ರಮಿಶ್ರಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ ಪರಾಂಕುಶಮುನಿ ಪ್ರಣತೋಸ್ಮಿ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ಯ ನರಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತೀಂ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯ ಉದೀರೇತ್ ವ್ಯಾಸ ವಸಿಷ್ಠನಪ್ತಾರ ಶಕ್ತೆ ಪೌತ್ರ ಅಕಲ್ಮಶ ಪರಾಶರಾತ್ಮಜ ವಂದೇ ಶುಕತಾತ ತಪೋ ನಿಧಿ ವ್ಯಾಸಯ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾ ವ್ಯಾಸೂಪಾ ವಿಷ್ಣವೇ ನಮೋ ವೈ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನಿಧೇ ವಾಸಿಷ್ಠಾಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಅಚತುರ್ವದನೋರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾದ್ವಿವಾಹುರಪರೋಹರಿ ಅಫಾಲೋಚನ ಶಂಭು ಭಗವಾನ್ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಪಾರಾಶರ್ಯವಚಸ್ಸುಧಾಂ ಸುಮನಸ ದುಗ್ಧಬ್ಧಿ ಮಧ್ಯೋದ್ಧತ ಸಂಸಾರಾಗ್ನಿವಿದೀಪನ ವ್ಯಪಗತ ಪ್ರಾಣಾತ್ಮಸಂಜೀವನಿ ಪೂರ್ವಾಚಾರ್ಯಸುರಕ್ಷಿತಾಂ ಬಹುಮತಿ ವ್ಯಾಘಾತ ದೂರಸ್ಥಿತ ಆನೀತ ನಿಜಾಕ್ಷರೈ ಸುಮನಸ ಭೌಮಾ ಪಿಬಂತ್ವನ್ವಹ ನಿಗಮಕಲ್ಪತರೋರ್ಗಲಿತ ಫಲಂ ಶುಕಮುಖಾತ್ ಅಮೃತದ್ರವ ಸಂಯುತ ಪಿಬತ ಭಾಗವತ ರಸಮಾಲಯ ಮುಹುರಹೋ ರಸಿಕಾ ಭುವಿ ಭಾವುಕಾ ಸಾಂದ್ರಾನಂದೋಧಾತ್ಮಕಮನುಪಮಿತ ಕಾಲದೇಶಿಭ್ಯಾಮುಕ್ತ ನಿತ್ಯ ಮುಕ್ತ ನಿಗಮಶತಸ್ರೇಣ ನಿರ್ಭಾಸ್ಯಮಾನ ಅಸ್ಪಷ್ಟ ದೃಷ್ಟಮಾತ್ರೆ ಪುನಃ ಉರುಪುರುಷಾತ್ಮಕ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮತತ್ವ ತತ್ತವತ್ ಭಾತಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಗುರು ಪವನ ಪುರೇ ಹಂತ ಭಾಗ್ಯ ಜನಾನ ಅಗ್ರೇ ಪಶ್ಯಾಮಿ ತೇಜೋ ನಿಬಿಡತರ ಕಲಾ ಯಾವಳಿ ಲೋಭನೀಯ ಪಿಯೂಷ ಪ್ಲಾವಿತೋಹಂ ತದನು ತದುತರೇ ದಿವ್ಯ ಕೈಶೋರವೇಶಂ ತಾರುಣ್ಯಾರಂಭರಮ್ಯ ಪರಮ ಸುಖ ರಸಾಸ್ವಾದ ರೋಮಾಂಚಿತಂಗೈ ಆವೀತ ನರದಿ ವಿಲಸದುಪನಿಷತ್ ಸುಂದರೀ ಮಂಡಲೈಶ್ಚ ಬಾಹುದ್ವಂದ್ವೇ ನರತ್ನೋಜ್ವಲ ವಲಯ ಭೃತ ಶೋಣ ಪಾಣಿ ಪ್ರವಾಳೇನೋಪತ ವೇಣುನಾಳಿ ಪ್ರಸೃತ ನಖ ಮಯೂಕಾಂಗುಲಿ ಸಂಗಶಾರೃತ್ವ ವಕ್ತ್ರವಿಂದೆ ಸುಮಧುರ ವಿಕಸದ್ ರಾಗಮುದ್ಭಾವ್ಯಮಾನೈ ಶಬ್ದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಮೃತೈ ತ್ವಂ ಶಿಶಿರೇತ ಭುವನೈ ಸಿಂಚ ಸಿಂಚ ಮೇ ಕರ್ಣವೀಧಿ ಅಧರಹಿತ ಚಾರು ವಂಶನಾಲ ಮಕುಟಲಂಬಿಮಯೂರ ಪಿಂಚಮಾಲ ಹರಿನೀಲಶಿಲಾ ವಿಭಂಗ ನೀಲ ಪ್ರತಿಭಾಸಂತು ಮಮ ಅಂತಿಮ ಪ್ರಯಾಣಿ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಅಬಂಡಂಟ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆನ್ ಡೇ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತ ಸಪ್ತಾಹ which is a shravana yajna in itself alongside shrimad bhagavatam there are certain occasions where i quote 
two other important works with respect to Shri Krishna Avataram. One is a work roughly uh, composed uh, 750 years back by a poet extraordinaire, a consummate dramatist, a sagacious dietitian, a lesser known mathematician, a polyglot and a polymath to say the least. His name was Vedanta Deshika. He gave a beautiful work. It is called Kavya Ratnam. It is called Yadava Bhyudayam. And this work has a distinction. This work was composed by a great Visishta Dvaita scholar. A scholar in the philosophy, the school of Visishta Dvaita. He was a towering personality. And this work has a unique distinction of having been commented upon by an Advaita scholar called Appaya Dikshita. So it was very unique in those days that a person adhering to one philosophy comments and in fact showers praise on the work of the person who belongs to the rival school of philosophy. So it was a big talking point in the 15th century when Appaya Dikshita in the patronage of Timma Reddy, Chinna Timma Reddy, I'm, I'm also told this is also a Reddy auditorium, correct? So Chinna Timma Reddy in Vellur, he commented upon this work. So, Chinnati Maharati's patronage was Appaya Dikshita. Appaya Dikshita commented and he says, uh, Itham vichintyaha kavitarkika simhasya kavyeshu laliteshvapi. How beautiful is this work? So, it was a big talking point in those days. Even if you belong to rival schools of thought, you can still be unbiased. You can still end up showering praise on a work genuinely if it is a piece of art. So, it speaks about their magnanimity and the scholastic achievements that they carried alongside. So I've been quoting, besides Srimad Bhagavatam, I've been quoting this 13th century work called as Yadava Bhyudayam by Vedanta Deshika, commented upon by Appai Dikshita. What was Appai Dikshita's original name? So this is out of syllabus. You didn't tell that. Any guesses? Original name, name. What name did his father and mother give? Vinayaka Subramanya. This is original name. Now, the second work that I have been quoting is the very famous Narayaniyam, which is the essence of Bhagavatam, given by another prolific poet, a great grammarian. This um, Narayana Bhattadri, of course, we know only Narayaniyam. He gave 20, 25 other works. One of the works is a work on Paniniya Vyakaranam. It is called Prakriya Sarvasvam. Beautiful work. He says, Bhukande, Kerala, ke, Sarita, Nihanila, Muttare, Naivanava, Sampada, Vyuti Matne, Punarupari Navagramanamni, Swadhamni, Dharmishtad, Bhattatantrad, Makilapata Pator, Matradattad Vijendrad, Jato, Narayanakyo, Niravaha Dutalam, Devanarayanagyam. I was born in Kerala. I was born in this village called Melpattur, which is a few miles away in the northern banks of river to the north of the banks of river Bharada Pura, near Tirunava, near Kuttipuram Highway. He tells all these geographical details. And he says he studied under five Acharyas. Matridattad Vijendrath. I studied under my own father. I studied under Trikandiyur uh, Swami. Then I studied under Achyuta Pisharoti. He tells all these names, what all he studied. So he gave this beautiful work. But incidentally, his work was born out of sheer pain. He was suffering from rheumatoid arthritis. So he gave this Vata Rogam. In Ayurveda Shastram, it is believed that any form of arthritis comes because of your food having high amount of Vayu content. So he thought the only way to get Nivritti from this Vayu based disorder is to go to Guru Vayur. So he went to Guru Vayur and got it cured. 
Now coming back to Srimad Bhagavatam, we successfully, somehow we managed to complete nine skandhams. Why I am telling you somehow is, there are many places, many, many, many charitrams that I have not told you. Buddha charitram, Pururavas charitram, um, Chitra Ratu Upakhyanam, um, details about Mohini Avataram, all this I have not spoken about. I am sure all of you, that is all home assignment. You all do it. Now, in Dashama Skandam, the Lord commands, you must have heard the sentence, now that the Lord commands, now that the Lord is commanding, uh, Yoga Maya, that you have to force yourself into the Garbham of Yashoda. Gacha Devi Vrajam Bhadre Gopa Gobhira Lankritam Rohini Vasudevasya Bharya Ste Nanda Gokule Anyasya Kamsa Sam Vigna Vivareshu Vasanti Devakya Jatare Garbham Shesha Kyam Dhamma Mamakam Tat Sanni Krishya Rohinya Udare Sanni Veshaya and then he said, see, however we talk about the deities, they all have an Indian touch. Only if you give them something, they will do. So immediately Krishna says, you do what I say, you will be worshipped in every village. Durgeti Bhadra Kaliti Vijaya Vaishnaviti Cha Kumuda Chandika Krishna Madhavi Kanya Keti Cha Maya Narayani Shani Sharadetyam Bi Keti Cha That is why in every Kshetram you will have one of the one who protects the city as Devi. You, if you go to Uttar Pradesh there is a very famous temple called Vindhyavasini. The mystic saint in the Tamil tradition of the 6th century invokes this Vindhyavasini in his last prabandham called Tirunedun Tandagam. He says, Karpudaya Vindaimeya Madakkanni Kaval Poonda Poonkovalur. He says, Vindaimeya, the one who studied in Vindhyas. So he makes a mention of Devi. Now coming to the birth of Sankarshana Balarama. So there is this verse. Garbha Sankarshana Tamvai Prahuhu Sankarshanam Bhuvi Rameti Loka Ramanad Balam Balavadu Chrayad He showed lot of Balam. Even while at birth, he was quite strong, well built. Is that possible, sir? In Sri Mahabharatam, in Adi Parva, there is a Ghattam. Kunti Devi you know Kunti. You know Kunti? Now this Kunti, she was blessed with a mantra. By Durvasa stating that in case you want children in your family life, if you invoke the blessings of a deity and recite this mantra, you will have a child, instant child. Insta pot mari, uddani. So you will get instant child. So she misused this, you know that. Karan was born because of that. Johar. Huh? No. No. Then she married uh, Pandu. And uh, they were given a... He was given a shapam that he cannot have a relationship with his wife. That is when she invoked the blessings of Yamadeva, Dharmaraja. And she had a child. Yudhishthir. Then she invoked the blessings of Vayudeva and she had a son called ah. Now, while Bhima was born, she was unable to hold Bhima, heavy boy. Boost is the secret of my energy, that boy. So he couldn't hold the boy in his hand, in her hand. In, in, incidentally, one tiger was chasing a few of the inhabitants of the forest. They came running. They kept telling, Vyagra, Vyagra, the tiger is coming. She was so worried. In that gush of mixed emotions and fear, she dropped the child on the ground. Newborn child, Bhim. 
But Vyasa tells something unique happened. This boy fell on a rock and the rock broke. This, ha- this comes in Adi Parva. Check in Sri Mahabharata. You can do a fact check. Now, Bhima, he fell and the rock broke. Bhima was a few years elder to Balarama. Bhima was a few more years elder to Krishna. And you know Krishna and Bhima's relationship. Krishna's father Vasudeva and Krishna and Balarama's father Vasudeva and Bhima's mother Kunti were siblings. So generally it is said that cousins, there is only one word in English, cousin. So this, these cousins will always enjoy, will have some similarities. That is why Bhima was born this way. Balarama was also that way. Birds of the same feather flock together. So, Garbha Sankarshanatam Vai Prahuhu Sankarshanam Bhuvi Rameti Loka Ramanat Balam Balavadutshrayat That is why both, both of them, both Balarama and Bhima were very good in handling the mace. Gada. Gada, incidentally, in Sanskritam, is a Strilinga Vachaka Shabdam. That is the only Ayudham of the Lord, which is feminine gender. So he was born. Now, I told you, cousins means they will share a lot of relationship. They will have a lot of similarities. In my house also, they said, you have to become an engineer because eight of your cousins have become engineers. <laughs> this is a similarity we all had. <clears throat> Bhagavan api vishvatma bhakta nama bhayankaraha avivevam shabhagena mana anaka dunduve sabibhrat paurusham dhama braja mano yatharavihi dura sadoti durdhar shobhutanam sambabhuvaha. So, the Lord first manifested with his qualities in the mind of Vasudeva. That is where there is a commentary. Vasudeva Devaki Jatayor Rudayor Bhagavataha Sammandaha. Veera Raghava, one of the famed commentators to Bhagavatam states, Jatayor Rudayor Api Bhagavataha Sammandaha. Which means, a child is not just a product of the mother and the father coming together. It is also their mental state which matters a lot that determines a child. That is why at least during gestation itself, if the mother and the father, both, if they start listening to a few verses of Bhagavatam or Ramayana, some may say you are promoting your profession. You can listen to anything, anybody. But, there is an effect. Why do we listen to Charitrams? Bhagavatam, same Krishna is born. No change. He has to dance on the same Kaliya. No change. It cannot become Anaconda. Same Kaliya. Why do we keep listening? See, Vedanta Deshika gives a very beautiful illustration to elucidate the thought of continuous listening. Shravanam. He says, when the windows are kept open, hmm, here they don't open the windows at all, right? Mm. If you open the windows and you have a nice glass teapoy in front of you, a stand, and you've just wiped the dust and you're looking at it, you'll be surprised. Right in front of your eyes, a thin layer of dust will appear on that glass. It won't even ask your permission. It doesn't even give any respect to you. Does it ask, can I come and sit? No. It comes and sits. Now you have to take another, the same piece of cloth and wipe that dust again. So Vedanta Deshika says, our manas, manaha, mind, is like the glass. Only if you take Ramayanam or Bhagavatam, which is the cloth and keep wiping it, will that dust go. And after you wipe, you cannot say, I have already wiped. Again, the dust will come. So, Bhagavatam and Ramayanam is a continuous process. 
In fact, the great sage of Kanchi, Paramacharya used to state, while you are on your deathbed, next to you Bhagavatam should be there. That means you have to keep reciting Bhagavatam even while you are on deathbed. I will give you an example. I have been going to this Kshetram called Malliyur in Kerala. Malliyur is a very important Kshetram. I keep going there. They conduct Bhagavata Satram every year. Not all the days one speaker has to speak. There will be one hour, one hour, one hour slots through the day. So there will be 21 slots. I will speak for two slots. They're very respectful. The person who is conducting is very known to me. That Swami's father was Malliyur Thirumeni. He passed away a few years back. He lived a good life. And his only passion and Kainkaryam was to recite Srimad Bhagavatam, not even give lectures, just recite the shlokas. And roughly, I wouldn't say there are exactly 18,000. You can say over 15,000, 16,000 shlokas in Srimad Bhagavatam. And Bhagavatam is not easy. For those of you who do Parayanam or Bhagavatam will know, Ramayanam is the easiest. Most of it is in Ashtub Chandas. Valmiki is very benevolent. Shuka Brahmam has given a test to our tongues. So in those days, if you have to prove you are a Vidwan, you have to recite the shlokas of Bhagavatam. And 15 to 16,000 shlokas in Srimad Bhagavatam, each shloka being a test. And he would recite that for a series of 7 days. And he has done plenty, thousands of saptahams. There is no count. It so happened while he turned 80s, Eventually, he turned blind. He lost his eyes. I am talking about 30 years, 40 years back. But they still used to call him for Bhagavatam. How will he recite the verses? That is when they used to keep the book. He used to keep the book, but he can't see. And they would say, you can begin. And he would begin. And he knew all the 16,000 verses by heart. Look at the memory power. Now we say, why should we buy heart? Correct. See, only when you keep giving continuous work to your memory, you can try escaping from dementia. A lot of other degenerative, I am not saying this is the only way. There, if, you are, if it's genetic, we can't help. But you should keep giving work to your brain. At least 20 years back, I, I personally remember having memorized the phone numbers of at least 100 of my relatives. That also you don't have to do now. You don't have to remember the tables, you don't have to remember the phone numbers, you don't have to read the shlokas. Then what is the brain meant for? See, 40 years before there was a great Swami in Kanchipuram. He belonged to the Tathacharya Vamsham in Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya. He knew 1,20,000 shlokas of Mahabharata by heart. You just have to tell him, Swami, in Adi Parva, when Garuda Upakhyana comes, what are the verses? He would go on. They don't need books. That is the beauty. Likhita Patha Kaha. You know, one of the biggest flaws of a public speaker is you should never have a book in front of you. I'm having. Geeti, Shigri, Shirakkampi, Tatha Likhita Patha Kaha, Anarthagnyaha, Alpakanti, Shadete, Pataka Dhamaha. In those days, they say the six flaws of a public speaker. Geeti, you should not combine music and speaking and bring them to a forum. For example, Apodu, Perumai, Vandaram, Kotaram, Chunaram, Apo, Vandandrukumbodu, Radadar, Vandu. You should not do all this. You should either sing and speak or speak and sing. Geeti, Shigri, you should not talk very fast. Shirakampi. You should not shake your head. Shirakampi. Tatha likhita pathakaha. You should not have it. Pura kumbha sambhava muni varra. Vasip. Serigal vasip padu shobana ravi. Tatha likhita pathakaha. Anarthagnyaha. You should not use words which are not appropriate for that occasion. Alpakanti cha. You should not have a very frail voice. People say, please take one energy drink and speak. Alpakanti cha shadete patakadhamaha for a speaker, 
These are the six flaws. You have found one now? Hmm. Now, as Krishna was born, after Sankarshana, Krishna was born, Vasudeva carried him. And then there, Yashoda and Nanda Gopa were unaware that this child who is there in their house is not actually their child. Yashoda showered love like how any other mother would do. Now, I spoke about how the Alvars, the mystic saints in the Bhakti tradition have had an equal footing in experiencing the pastimes and the qualities of the Lord. Alvar says, Yashoda had to give Krishna an oil bath. See, if you go to the north of India, you will be surprised. Children will be drenched in mustard oil. They will be massaged in mustard oil. And they will be left to the rays of the sun falling on them. Free vitamin D. Now we take 60k tablets, right? If I go to Seattle, first the host will give me two tablets. You take these two. Now, after this oil massage, Yashoda would take her gagra up. And then she has to put Krishna in the small crevice that is created within her two legs. And then she would have a big vessel filled with water which is neither too hot nor too cold. It is like Narasimha. Neither this nor that. Then she would add some gooseberry paste. Because in case the water manages to go into the mouth of the boy, he should find it sweet. And then she would give proper bath to Krishna. Now Krishna, little boy he was, his body was smeared in oil. So it was largely slippery. So the boy, out of the simple fear that he may just fall 3 centimeters away from her feet, will hold her legs tightly. To which Arvar says, what is this? Huh? We are coming in search of you, finding where your feet are, the one that measured the world's. And you are in turn holding the feet of this lady who doesn't even know the basic rule that you should bathe every day. See, they were all, Yashoda and her people were followers of water conservation project. They will bathe this year and the next bath will be next year. That hygienic. So to this lady, you are holding your Hands at her feet, Krishna. Sanakadiya tava yogam seidh varandi sadit dey punidamare yelidil pera yenatavam seidhani. Now, after Putana's death, you know, it was a big talking point in those days, breaking news. Putana is dead. They didn't know her name. Finally, they found that badge. It was retrieved from her documents. That her name, badge was there. Putana. Alayas Baki. That was her other name. So, they had to dispose her body. After that, they were very worried. What is this? Our dear Krishna is born after so many years. And here comes a demoness to kill him. So, the mother was extremely perplexed, worried. So she wanted to add a layer of protection to Krishna. Like the security system in your houses. She wanted to secure Krishna. What did she do? Lalate Keshavam Dhyaye She went to his forehead and said, Keshava Yanamaha. Let Keshava protect this boy. No, Krishna is looking. Who is Keshav? Artist Keshav? I am Keshav. How can I protect myself? Lalate Keshavam Dhyayen Narayanam Athodare Udare Stomach Let Narayana come and protect. Vakshasthale Madhavam Tu Let Madhava protect. Madhav come and protect. Alaypa Yude Vakshasthale Madhavam Tu Govindam Kantha Kubare She started reciting the names of the Lord. See what else can she do? Whom will she invoke to protect the child? So she invoked the names. Now there is another important shlokam here. In those days it was a norm 
that the nails of a tortoise and a tiger it is called the talisman what is it called talisman dart so she created one from the nails of the tortoise of a tiger she created one in a black thread you know you should see many of our political leaders in india they will have red black blue they have to win the election then after they come to power voters have to put grahadi doshan apahantu kama goptu satam gopataya sametah suvarna sutra gratita abhiramam panchayudhim abharanam babandu so krishna was given this particular talisman of all these things but imagine see the higher we go in vedanta these things may not hold much water see if we talk about jeevatma paramatma dharmi gyanam dharma bhuta gyanam how the jeevatma exits from the body and where it can see the path of the light called archiradi after that get me those nails of the tortoise it won't hold much water right you are talking about jeevatma exit exiting but imagine krishna could have discarded this after yashoda did this generally you know children till about age 10 whenever the mother tells put urdhvam they will all listen okay then after 13 now just imagine those children who are coming here hopefully by the grace of god after 3 years when i come and do maybe mahabharatam they should come but will they come we don't know au oh. dushyan he'll tell the same thing he'll say krishna married rukmini what else can i say huh? so krishna could have discarded the chain that he showed the oh i don't know she he could have done that but even in shri rangam today parashara bhatta says when i look into ranganatha i see the same chain that yashoda had put around his neck even today telling that he is so considerate and accessible to his devotees that whatever is given by them he doesn't see good or bad he accepts it as is kur vakshasthalyam tulasi kamala kaustu bhair vaijayanti sarveshatvam kathayati taram rangadham nasyadastam kurma vyagrinaga parimalair panchaheti yashoda nadva mugdha bharanam adikam nasamadhim dhinoti now after this came shakata bhanjanam we discussed about putana avadham shakata bhanjanam after shakata bhanjanam krishna started walking that also we discussed uh, now comes another important nice portion krishna had to be called to take bath you don't have to tell rama about this rama was always by the book If book rule number 1 says after you wake up 10 minutes after that you have to get ready for bath ninth minute itself he'll get ready so if he will follow the rules he will also show his hand and put the indicator on rules that much he will follow whereas krishna he will go in the red light he will change lanes this way that way without putting any indicator but still will manage to come out without getting a ticket that is krishna rama will do everything finally he'll get one ticket adha pa ma avar avar thallaidha apdi so one day you know person who follows every rule one day for a for a second he would have parked in that no parking or handicap parking ticket krishna permanently he will park but he will not get the ticket how so krishna had to be given bath yashoda calls him please come and take bath she calls and he denies this call and his denial has turned into an ode of 10 pasurams called neerattam in the tamil language beautiful set of verses vennai alainda kunungum vilayadum puludiyum kondu tinnan ivvira unnai teithu kidakkanan botte ennai pulippalam kondu ingu ethanai podum irundhen நனளரிய பிரானே நரணா நீராடவராய் 
mother is saying please come it is high time you have not had bath for months krishna it will smell come kanrugal voda shevil as she used to call krishna used to keep running hither and thither what was he doing kanrugal voda shevil katterumbu pidithu he would take some little ants and put it into the ears of the little calves ஓடாதே <laughs> பார் he got into the philosophy of bathing she said you look much better you look very handsome then your state now you take one picture now you take a picture after you have completed bathing before and after in the weight loss program they do right in india we get one oil called induleka induleka potunga mudi eppadi valarum paarunga now she said you look much handsome than what you look now what krishna did was he went and fell into the waters of yamuna got out of it rolled his wet body over the fine sand on the banks of yamuna river so yamuna river sand was so fine it used to look as if silver argentum was made into a powder in ninja mixi and then he has rolled himself so black background silver dust and he used to come am i looking handsome or no actually he was looking better now <laughs> so you so should i take bath or not krishna if you ask like this krishna i may agree with whatever you do i am your mother after all krishna but the problem is my brother's daughter is going to marry you very soon her name is napinai she will laugh tomorrow she will say what kind of a son have you brought up yashoda huh? he doesn't even know the basics of hygiene he is not taking but she my daughter in law will in those days it was a big point my daughter in law will laugh at me come and take bath nappinne kaanil sirikkum anikkame en maniye manjanamada neevarai why don't you come and take bath so see every pasuram of alwar is is a is an era in itself you you need an entire lifetime to decipher the bhakti that is soaked in each of the words of the alvars then you have got krishna's navanita chauryam what did he steal what did he steal butter sir you don't know that also he stole vennai avare tamil aalinga so vennai don't call it butter tamilil kooravum vennai endru kooravum he will be whoever said can become a very good politician in tamil nadu uh, vennai he stole butter but now i will take you back to day 1 monday roughly at about 8 5 i spoke well parikshit was born he was like a log of wood i said you remember that's why you should come from day 1 that time krishna said he vowed yadi me brahmacharyam syat satyam cha avyahatam yena jeevatu balakah if what i have spoken till now is only the truth let this boy come back to life and parikshit survived so either ways if parikshit has survived what pledge krishna has made is true what was the pledge i have never spoken the untruth i have spoken only the truth now let's get back to navanita chaurya did krishna steal butter yes he stole did he lie about having uh, consumed the butter yes so if he has lied then parikshit should have not come back to life if parikshit has come back to life then this it is not a lie how do we understand this he did not steal see pankajam mami and komalam mami assumed that krishna is stealing their butter when he was asked did you steal komalam mami's butter he said no i didn't steal komalam mami's butter it is all my butter correct if the jagat sarvam shariram te the entire srishti is mine 
கோமளம் மாமி இஸ் ஜீவாத்மா அண்ட் ஹர் ஷரீரம் பிலாங்ஸ் டு மீ கோமளம் மாமி இஸ் பேக் பேக் யார்ட் பிலாங்ஸ் டு மீ கோமளம் மாமி இஸ் பேக் யார்ட்ஸ் கவ் பிலாங்ஸ் டு மீ தட் கவ் விச் கிவ்ஸ் மில்க் பிலாங்ஸ் டு மீ தட் மில்க் தட் கெட்ஸ் இன் டு கர்ட் பிலாங்ஸ் டு மீ த பட்டர் தட் ஃப்ளோட்ஸ் அட்டாப் இட் பிலாங்ஸ் டு மீ ஸோ ஹவு எம் ஐ லைங் பட் யஷோதா டிட் நாட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தீராத விளையாட்டு பிள்ளை ஷி செட் வை ஆர் யூ லைக் திஸ் மிஸ் ஸ்டீஃப் மாங்கர் பட் ஹி டிட் நாட் லை Why? What is the butter signify? There is a Vedanta in it, says the Vyakhyata. Butter is like the Jeevatma. The pot in which it is stored is the Shariram. The Shariram has to get discarded, burnt, buried and then the Jeevatma exits. The Jeevatma is the consumable portion to the Lord. That is why he takes the butter and he doesn't leave the pot as is. He breaks the pot. He says the Shariram has to... go perish one day and this jeevatma which is the navaneetam belongs to me that is why purandara dasa says this philosophy in his own words so one person goes and has to fetch water from ganga so he says please get me the pot but the pot breaks that is when this conversation begins தரக்க பிந்திகே நானீரிக் ஹோகுவே தாரே பிந்திகேய தரக்க பிந்திகே நானீரிக் ஹோகுவே தாரே பிந்திகேய பிந்திகே ஹொடதரே ஒந்தே கசு தாரே பிந்திகேய பிந்து மாதவனா ஹட்டக்கே ஹோகுவே ஜாமுன் What is Jamun in English? What is Jamun in English? Snake fruit, right? No, no. No, no. You know, spell B, you all win so well. Uh, tell me, tell me. What is Jamun? Ja- uh, Jamun? <laughs> okay, for now it is Jamun. I'm giving a test assignment to all of you. You have to find what is Jamun. Not Gulab Jamun. <laughs> Another Jamun fruit. So Krishna loved it. but to fetch the jamun fruits he needed it was a barter system so what was he doing that is when one of the alwar tells he used to go to the girl next door and he used to say you're so pretty beautiful you are so she used to feel a lot shy and as she used to feel shy and used to put her hand down the bangles used to come out he used to take those bangles go to the fruit seller take these bangles and give me those jamun fruit <clears throat> so see in india i was there in bombay for 5 and 1/2 years i was working in a corporate in starting years i used to take the public bus how many of you are from bombay i used to go from matunga my initial office was in a place called sakinaka have you heard of sakinaka huh. if you if you if you stay for a few years in sakinaka you are in, you are you are eligible for moksha <laughs> so i went i had to take i had to take the train then go to kurla from kurla i had to go to sakinaka via safed pool you know safed pool you know uh, sorry i don't uh, i don't safed pool then i had to go to sakinaka so what i used to do was mundane things you, you may think why should he describe all of this i had i had to scratch at the back of one of my foot so i used to take my leg out of one of the shoes and then scratch the back of one foot and by the time i would bring it back somebody would have kept their leg <laughs> inside that shoe. so then i wondered how is this possible all are krishna bhaktas 
in shri rudram you have got the third anuvakam namakka kubhaya nishangine ste nanam pataye namaha Taskaranam pataye namaha, sthayunam pataye namaha. This is how Shri Rudram celebrates Paramatma. Sthayunam pati, taskaranam pati. This is how it calls the Lord. You know what does it mean in Sayana Bhashyam? Taskaranam pati, sthayunam pati means thief. So you are proudly telling, O oh thief, I call you. Celebrate, O oh thief. Right to call the Lord as thief. Taskaranam pati. It calls in various levels. One who threatens the person. Give me. That is one kind of a thief. Sthayunam pati. There is one pati. Which Vedam tells. He is like the pickpocket thief. You know pickpocket? So pickpocket. You know what, what a pickpocket person will do? I remember, I've told this in many of my lectures. That was the time when the first, in India, the phone with dual SIM came. You can have two SIMs. You won't have much to talk to even one person, but you'll have two SIMs. So I got that phone, put it inside my pocket and got inside the bus like Draupadi. I was holding <laughs> hands here. Kairandum vitteno Draupadi ai pole. So I was holding like this. Sabha Krishna 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 few seconds after the bus left, I felt my body weight had come down by 20-25 grams. I said, how? And I put my hand into my pocket. The phone was missing. Phone, if it gets lost, many of them will die. Because our Jeevatma is inside the phone. Our entire all passwords, mail, everything is inside one cell phone. Alarm, everything, jatakam, everything is there. So, the phone got lost and I was a lot helpless. But I appreciated the thief. Without causing any physical damage to me. See, if it is a chain snatching person, I have to run with him. Urumami, Kerala, whatever, kudave water. So, this man did not cause any damage without me realizing he has stolen my phone. So, Taskaranam Pati means the one who is a pickpocket thief. Why does Vedam call the Lord a pickpocket thief? Like how this thief does not cause any damage and without the person being cognizant that the possession is being stolen, it is taken. Similarly, our sins are also taken away by the Lord without we un undergoing that pain. Hence, he is called Harir Harati Papani. He will steal your... Now, Krishna did take the bangles of this girl. After having done this, Yashoda, she starts turning. She is in her, she, I told you, she was a business partner in Nandagopala Dairy Products, LLP. So, she used to churn. That is when there is this incident that occurred, where uh, Krishna broke that pot. With what did he break? He broke with a stone. Yeah, yesterday I told, uh, I told you, right? Yesterday, uh, he broke with a stone. Now, this is what is there in Bhagavatam. I'll read out that verse in Bhagavatam. Sanjata kopaha spurita runadharam Sandrushya dadbhir dadimantha bhajanam Bhitva mrushad bivrusha dashmanara ho Jagasa hayyangava mantaram gataha So that stone was used to break that pot. This is there in Bhagavatam. Now, without causing any collateral damage to the original Grantham by only speaking about what is there in that Mula Grantham, Bhattatri of Sri Guruvayu thought, I should bring the essence of Bhagavatam in verses. So, he said, he depicts the same incident. After having written, inscribed on his leaves, he later cross-checks with the original Grantham, he has made a mistake. In the original Grantham, Shukabrahma has said Krishna broke the pot with a stone. 
whereas what he has written is he has broken with a stick so what is wrong he can put backspace <laughs> delete that word replace that word find and replace he can do why should he worry or traditionally there was another method See now we don't have the system of much a system of cash either it's check or card or online we have a digital way of functioning but at least 15 20 years back i remember having gone with my grandfather to he would take the pinch withdraw the pension money so we used to go to the cashier there used to be one token 2 12 they would call and then we have to go and stand in the queue and then that we have, we can also tell the denominations give my grandfather was a troublesome man he will tell give me 20 rupee note 1020 rupee notes 100 100 rupee notes that lady used to get vexed and she used to say not there not there not there but anyways he used to count and give so there is a traditional way of counting konagam sheida sheedam taruvarel punidam andre this is bhagavata uchishtam but my grandmother was very hygienic the moment she used to he used to bring those notes she will wash them first <laughs> so now krishna is said to have broken with the stick is what bhattadri writes then he repents that he has gone slightly away from there is an aberration from the original work where the original work states that krishna broke using a stone so they were so much of a pramanika that they wouldn't go this way or that way he started shedding tears because once you inscribe on your leaves you can't do much you you're breaking that leaf it was not easy to get straw materials in those days he started crying well he closed his eyes and shed copious tears he heard some sound he turned and he checked that in the garbhagraham the place of the sanctum sanctorum in sri guruvayur was a little mortar standing atop it is a little boy atop him is a pot and the boy turned towards bhattadri he smiled and turned back and used a stone and a stick to break the pot now the lord was trying to prove to bhattadri it is just not for you even in the days of bhagavatam and krishna avataram happened i also used to st stick But Bhattadri would have asked, "See, if you had used the stick, why has in Shuka Brahma mentioned?" But to which the Lord said, "See, Shuka Brahma saw the front view. <laughs> this side I am holding the stone. This side the stick, and middle is the pot. So if you see from that side, you can see only the stone. But in engineering graphics, you have to see from the top. There is something called top view." so from top view you see then only you will get the stone and the stick you have done a good 3d imaging you have seen from the top whereas he saw only 2d so what you have done is right sami peter sabhang sangata krodha bhara paribhuta chetasa mantha danda mubagrihya patitam hanta deva dadi bhajanam tvaya so this is another incident that is when he was tied to the mortar i told you about how he was tied to the mortar and then he was tied around the waist with that rope i told you about the dhl blue dot rope ah, he was tied now the point is krishna was a glutton he used to eat very well perennially hungry so it was a 24 cross 7 work for his digestive system always they used to keep grinding something or the other that is why you see Rama was born as the son of an aristocrat son of Dasharatha after so many years he was born he was the most desired child born in a palace but what is the prasadam for Rama janmam panakam buttermilk this boy was born in a jail in the middle of the night where the mother was worried if her brother will come and kill the child he was taken for safety the same night his whereabouts was not known but what do what do we make we make so many bhakshanams whatever is possible however is the outcome eppadi varudho avaru saap thalla eduthavarku 
నో తెలుగు వారు పద్ధతిలో ఏం చేస్తారు కృష్ణ జనను భక్షణం ఓకే వాట్ డి యూ బై ఏదైనా వాంగ్ బై వాట్ డి యూ ఏం చేస్తారు భక్షణం చీడే ఓ దేర్ ఆల్సో యూ హ్యావ్ చీడే థ్యాంక్ యూర్ ఆల్ దట్ వే ఆల్ ఫోర్ స్టేట్స్ వీ ఆర్ లింక్డ్ so how many of you don't speak any of the languages of the four southern state five southern ipo five aidilla five southern states what language do you speak ma'am hindi okay now i'll give the recipe for chidai <laughs> so there is one bhakshanam there are two one is a savory the other one is a sweet one is made with salt you have to use rice flour but the beauty is the way in which you make matters a lot because you will end up having deepavali <laughs> it will burst <laughs> the other is a sweet that is a very tricky sweet <laughs> so you have to add the right amount of jaggery but you should not add jaggery just like that you will have to melt that boil it and then take the jaggery and put it into some cold water and check how many strings come one string either it is violin veena we have to keep checking and then you will have to add and you will have to let that concoction be for some time and then fry it here is where you can see bhagavat srishti during pralayam అచిత్ అవిశిష్టాన్ ప్రళయే జంతూన్ అవలోక్య జాత నిర్వేద కరణకళే బరయోగం వితరసి వృషశైలనాథ కరుణేత్వం సేజ్ వేదాంత దేశిక వెన్ యూ పుట్ ఇట్ ఇన్ టు దట్ గీ ఇట్ విల్ జస్ట్ కమ్ ఇన్ టు పీసెస్ లైక్ హౌ ఇన్ ప్రళయ కాలం ద వర్ల్డ్ ఇస్ ఆర్ ఇట్ కెన్ స్టిల్ కంటిన్యూ బీయింగ్ ఇన్ ద రౌండ్ షేప్ జస్ట్ దట్ యూ కాంట్ బ్రేక్ ఇట్ ఫర్ యాంగ్రీ అట్ సమ్ వన్ యూ కెన్ యూస్ దిస్ లైక్ క్యాన్ ఆన్ బాల్స్ why i am telling you this is for krishna avataram everything is so grand but look at his birth in a jail rama avataram in a palace buttermilk hmm? now this krishna was a glutton very stout so she tied the damam around his udaram udaram is stomach portion damam is the rope dama udaram damodara he was tied now there is a practice amongst the scholarly people after conducting series of lectures they will be served sumptuous food so while the leaf is laid there is a practice that we slightly loosen our dhoti <laughs> slowly we loosen because first rice has to go then rasam rice has to go then sweet has to go so we will loosen slowly we will bring it down huh? now krishna he he was still eating he was tied to the mortar yet he had something next to him so what i will keep eating he was shedding tears yet eating now slowly as he started eating his stomach enlarged in the abdomen portion so the rope that tied that was tied around his waist rolled itself and came to his chest the commentator says along tying along with tying his son she also tied her daughter in law mahalakshmi so which mother in law will have the audacity to tie the daughter in law <laughs> the vice versa may happen huh but she did yadi shaknoshi gachhatvam ati chanchala cheshtita ityuktvata nijam karma saachakara kutumbini then krishna was left she said you move from this place and she went now krishna couldn't stay just like that hmm? parents will be worried what will my child do sitting in the first row one will go to the bathroom the second one will follow huh? so slowly krishna started crawling as he crawled the mortar came along and as he went further he he saw one small gap between two large trees large trees those large trees were the big landmark of nandagopala's house see i used to 
I still go to Trishur. Anybody from Trishur here? One. Nobody. Ah, two. Ah, three. I go to this village in Trishur called Poongunnam. Beautiful Sita Rama Swami temple. So I used to stay in a Bhagavata's house. Extremely, we are very well attached. So while I was working, my company had to send me one courier. So they asked, Dushyant, give me your address where you are staying. I will send. So I asked this mama, mama, please tell me the address. Uru periya mango tree irukkane vidhirungu. I can't write the address as the house with the big mango tree. Then I said, Mama, you have to tell me the address, Mama. Then he gave the address. Then I put that landmark with the mango tree. Yeah. So Nanda Gopala's house identity were those two trees. Now Krishna got thin gap between those two hills. He somehow managed to, between those two trees, he went. How did he go, sir? Because he is the one who is the owner of Tattvatrayam. Achetana Chetana Ishwara Tattvam. Achetanam Chetanam Ishwara. It's called Tattvatrayam. If you know this, you have somehow covered 25% of Vishishta Dvaita philosophy. Achetanam Chetanam Ishwara. We will keep repeating the same thing. So, three. How many of you enjoy going in autos in India? Uh, what a drive it is. You don't have to worry about the lane. You can go anywhere you want. Auto. It is Swatantra. <laughs> yeah. so this auto, when we go in India, generally when I have December programs, we'll, I'll have one in the morning, one in the evening, one in the morning, one in the evening. So I don't like going by the car. I'll take the auto. Because auto will surely take me to that pl place at the right time. Somehow manage. Large buses. This man alone will go in that gap. I will tell, oh you auto man. Where are you taking me? Kundu Setru and Sar. Tat Vishnoho Paramam Padagum Sada Pashyanti Surayaha Digi Vatakshura Datam Tat Vipra So Vipanyabo Jagruva Gum Satsamindate Vishno Paramam Padam. So Krishna went into the gap of those two trees. Hmm? He went and pulled something with the mortar. Those two trees fell. Mango tree. No, trees fell. Who were those two people? Those two people, Shukabrumham says, were the cursed sons of Kubera, Nalakubara and Manigriva. They were cursed. And they got Vimochanam in Krishnavataram. Now, Yashoda wanted to adorn Krishna. Every mother will want to adorn their daughter or son. So she called Krishna and Krishna had curly hair. See, parents who have children with curly hair will know the problem. How much ever you comb, they will look a bit haggard. Like seven up advertisement they will look. How much ever you comb. That is why the great hairdressers of this world in the last 20 years have come up with a process called straightening. Hmm? You can iron your hair. The hair will stand like this. And then there is another process of putting curly hair. You have heard those rollers? Then it will roll. Now Krishna had curly hair. Now what Yashoda did was she called and she wanted to comb and she wanted to put a clip. Clips are of two types. One is like that Gajendra Moksha, that crocodile. Gajendra Raksha Tvaritam Bhavantam Grahe Ivadir. The second clip is like Chandra, crescent moon. It will bend, it will have two dwarams. You have to insert a stick. You have seen that? Engatla Vangara. So, oh, Krishna had to be adorned with a clip. Clip was not available. Yashoda saw a peacock feather lying on the ground. She said, I need some standby ad hoc solution. She took that and she inserted within his curly hair tresses. And she said, now turn. He was looking very handsome. See, it was not a well thought decision to use a peacock feather. Just like that she used. 
ಚಿತ್ರಕಲ್ಪಶ್ರವಸಿ ಕಲಯನ್ ಲಾಂಗಲೀ ಕರ್ಣಪೂರಂ ಬರ್ಹೋತ್ತಂ ಸಂ ಸ್ಫುರಿತ ಚಿಕುರೋ ಬಂಧುಜೀವಂ ದದಾನ ಗುಂಜಾ ಬದ್ಧಾ ಮುರಸಿ ಲಲಿತಾ ಧಾರಯನ್ ಹಾರಯಷ್ಟಿ ಗೋಪಸ್ತ್ರೀಣ ಜಯತಿ ಕಿತವ ಕೋಪಿ ಕೌಮಾರ ಹಾರಿ ಸೇಸ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ದೇಶಿಕ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಈವಿಲ್ ಐಸ್ ಆನ್ ಹರ್ ಸನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹರ್ ಸನ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ಲೆಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಶಿ ಥಾಟ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೇ ಟು bring this effect is to adorn him with those products which are not so great to look at forest flowers with thorns if you go to phoenix you will get those cat so with those flowers she wanted to adorn after she adorned with these flowers earlier he was sundara now he became vana sundara shutva gunan vana sundara shrinvatante then she thought no no i will take all these he's looking very handsome hmm? kisi ka bai kisi ka jaan <laughs> so she took those flowers and then she adorned him with the pearls now he became shrutva gunan bhuvana sundara shrinvatante earlier he was vana sundara now he is bhuvana sundara now <clears throat> krishna one day he told his mother dear mom i want to go and work earn while you learn let me go and earn mother asked what do you know to earn who will give you work he said no i will go be, i will go let the cows graze i don't know how many of you know in bharata desham traditionally in families if the child doesn't study the mother will say ulunga padikala maada make outruva but now children in bharata are very smart they say okay i will go let the cows graze i don't want to study what is the use of studying uv principle in integral calculus at least if i graze karavegal pinch endru kaanam serndu unvom at least i will get curd rice now krishna said i want to go earn mother said what will you know see it is our kula dharmam to go beyond behind the cows and the calves let them graze so she said see there are many thieves you don't know about the crime rate in our city krishna many thieves they come behind the yellow metal krishna you are sporting the yellow metal oram and that too you are dark that will show on you very well don't go there are many thieves krishna said aren't you aware mother i am the leader of them <laughs> yamuna nadi karayil எப்பொழுதும் கழ்வர் பயம் கழ்வனுக்கு கழ்வனானே இப்பொழுது போகிடுவேன் மாடு மேய்க்கும் கண்ணே நீ போக வேண்டாம் சொன்னேன் பரீட்சித் கொஸ்டின் ஏ தத் கௌமாரஜம் கர்ம நோ பிளீஸ் பி அவேர் Parikshit was aware of Krishna's story. Krishna was a great personality. So people will know in bits and pieces. Some would have read in Kumudam, some in Vigadan. They would know. But he wanted that in a proper chronological order. That is why he came to Shukabrahma. So he asks, Yetat kaumarajam karma Hare ratma hi mokshanam ಮೃತ್ಯು no i won't narrate it today exactly one year after this i will narrate you won't do that but what is that incident etat kaumarajam karma mrityoho paugandake bala yes that is when shukabrahmam starts narrating krishna wanted to go to the forest to let the cows and the calves of the bovine race grace he told his mother get my lunch box ready what will be there in yashoda giving the lunch box to krishna my lunch box curd rice standard huh? no change rasamandala madhye mani dweepa mani maya chitre in the middle of that curd rice will be one uh, raw tiny mango huh? vadu 
it is called it will be there like surya mandalam rasa mandala madhye mani dweepa mani maya chitre what is there for lunch box i never used to ask because the standard answer avikara ay shuddha same thing will be there at least i used to get the curd rice made that day that much i used to be happy so yashoda gave him a curd uh, tiffin box of curd rice the other boys he immediately message pichu mani raja mani e pichu raju you also come he had a whatsapp group they all said okay krishna we'll come their mothers were all following mallika badrinath there <laughs> so one lady used to make while well, she was she had traces of andhra in her so she used to make gonkura rice palli podi telugu varik palli podi telisa palli podi you don't know tamil palli podi telileda okay i'll tell you the recipe later okay now the beauty is see our indian cuisine also have a history you should remember 500 years before when mahalakshmi's greatness was described in lakshmi sahasram by venkata dhvari kavi 500 years before while describing the tongue of mahalakshmi the poet says her tongue was as red as a person of andhra who consumes spicy food it comes in that shlokam so you know if you come to karnataka karnataka i belong to karnataka karnataka people are very good karnataka devari dara see we are all very good people very hospitable if we if they come to our house unchur kaapi kudile beku niu please 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 unchur kaapi kudile beku kudko kudchkon pongo so we we are very good how do we know this vedanta deshika se sahaja sulabha dasya ha people of karnataka are very hospitable vedanta deshika says this hmm? now okay each city has its own culture anybody from kanchi puram kanchi ah kanchi vare inga kanchi 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 bus car ar mari ticket podu venta kanchi kanchi ah okay kanchi puram is the place where my vedanta deshika was born beautiful divya desham of varadaraja swami but one thing the city is also famous is called kanchi pura upachara have you heard kanchi pura idli but there is a problem with this kanchi pura upacharam idli is very good but but whether you will get that idli is a big question i'll tell you why so traditionally if you go to a house in kanchi pura now these days here people have raised their hand are very good but in traditionally if you go to in houses in kanchi puram if you get inside the house swami please come we'll go i know you are very 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 strict about hygiene and you won't have food anywhere else neenga poi nammathla shaapdi vela nammathla kai nenepela unga aacharathu patti theriyadha na avlo vela aacharam illa yoyo appdi solladinga romba aacharam nothing they'll give while you are leaving they'll say adutha mara varumbodu shaapadra mari varum so this lady gave gonkura rice to her son one lady from kerala she gave coconut rice so everyone let, let's go dal bati churma also so all this was given to the sons now they all went to the forest at about 11 am ting ting lunch break so krishna went and said see it's high time we all sit for lunch so krishna sat along with his friends in a circle gopa janaha so as he sat the boy said krishna you should not sit with us in the circle you should go sit in the center so they he went and sat in the center now krishna opened his box curd rice smell you know he took one ball of curd rice he kept that curd rice ball in his left hand and he fit vegetable pickle in his right hand who is the vegetable pickle priya and ruchi he kept 
and he placed his flute in the hip. Then he was about to consume. Two things happened. The other boys around, they also opened their boxes and kept their balls of rice in their hand. And they said, Krishna, you have. You should taste this. The commentator asks, they have not been to a school. They have not undergone any Shastra Kalakshepa. But how do they know that they have to offer the first ball of rice to Paramatma? How did they know that? People who are very well adept also don't offer. Here they didn't know what is the first line of Rigvedam. They don't even know if Rigvedam exists. But they are saying, take this Krishna. Commentator says, look at the bhakti that they had. On the other side of Yamuna, this was happening on one side of Yamuna. On the other side was a little habitat where people used to stay. In those people who stayed was a widow. She was nurturing her son. And every day, this time, around this time, the boy used to be fed by the mother. And the boy used to ask a standard question. Where is Swargam? Many of my friends are talking about Swargam. It is a very happy place. Please tell me, mother, where is Swargam? Every day this boy used to religiously ask this question. And the mother used to point fingers to the top. She used to say, that is where Swargam is. And the boy used to look up. Ah, and she used to feed the boy. <laughs> the boy asked the same question today. But what had changed? The answer. Every day she would point up. Today she said, that place where Krishna is, is Swargam. Vibradvenum jatarapathaya shringavetyecha kakshe vame panau vame panau is left hand. Masrila kabalam curd rice. Tatphalam anguli issue pickles on the right hand. Tishthan madhye swapadi suhurdo hasa yannarma bhiswaihi swarge loke mishati bhubuje yajna bhukbala kelihi yajna bhukbala kelihi and now as Krishna used to take food from everybody he used to eat and then finally used to go and wash his hands in the waters of Yamuna when Acharya states all the rishis in the previous janmas had turned into fishes and they were waiting for that little morsel that would come into the waters of Yamuna when Krishna used to wash his hands. Now this is where problem comes. Brahmadeva, who has some mood swings based on Rajogunam and Tamogunam, suddenly he'll be good. Achutai Namaha, Anantai Namaha, Govindai Namaha. You'll see Brahmadeva, suddenly he'll become Anniyan. <laughs> suddenly he'll say, Where is that Krishna, sir? Few minutes before you said Achutai Namaha, Anantai Namaha. Adi, where are <laughs> So, <laughs> he wanted to teach Krishna a lesson. Hmm? Brahma, I, didn't I give you this example of moon, Brahma? Did I tell you? Yes. Just three days back I said. So this Brahma, he wanted to teach Krishna a lesson. So while Krishna was washing his hands, he abducted all the cows, the calves, the boys, Pichumani, Rajamani and the tiffin box also. Now Krishna came back, Pichu, 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 Raju, Raju, Raju. Nobody was there. What is the cow's name? Bahula. Where is he? Where is he? Bahula, 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 Bahula. But Bahula will understand only English. Shankar, Shankar, Shankar. From the Goshala in your place. I am calling the names of the cows. So as he said, nobody replied. There was nobody. Then Krishna realized that Brahma is trying to prove to me that he is so important as Srishti Karta. Let me see what best I can do. He became Pichumani. He became the Rajamani. He became the Shankar to prove to Brahma that what you call as creation at your hands is in fact a creation by me. The label alone you are putting. Manufacturing done by me. 
You are just putting made by Brahma. That's all. So that year, so this happened in the fifth year. So for one year, every day, every minute, the one who was Pichumani, Rajamani, the cow and the calf, in the houses of Gopas was Krishna himself. So every particle was Shuddha Sattvam. It is called in Shastram. So that is why every mother, she used to, well, she used to wash the tiffin box, she used to feel. Why am I feeling so attached to the tiffin box today? Because tiffin box was the Lord. The leftover curry leaves inside the tiffin box was also the Lord. So she used to feel, I never get so attached to Pichu. But few weeks I am so attached to Pichu because Pichu is Krishna. Now let's see what happens to the boys who have been taken by Brahma. Brahma goes to Satyalokam, to his house. He knocks at the door. The Dwarapalaka say, you are not allowed. Brahma says, this is my place. You peep, sir. He peeped. There was already one more Brahma inside his house. And Saraswati is telling her, the Brahma seated next to him, the outside person, he is putting the pot on his head and saying, Nyabagam Rukha. Khanne, Kalaimani. I am that Brahma. She said, I don't know Brahma. Who are you? Then these boys, Give me butter. Yo, iriya, namak kenge yada. By the time he managed these entire children, Lord, the cows and the calves, and brought back to earth, there was already one more Pichumani there. If he goes to Brahma Lokam, there's another Brahma. If he comes to earth, there's another Pichumani. Where will he keep all these children? Managing one or two is so tough. Managing the entire lot. So that is when he prayed, Krishna, what is happening? Paramatma, please help me. He closed and opened his eyes, every person on the ground around Krishna, he could see that they were having Shri Vatsam. Shukabrahmam says, they've all had the hue of a sapphire. Oh, they are all Krishna. Then he realized the sin that he had committed. He goes and falls to Krishna. They all disappear and then Pichumani comes. The original Pichumani comes. Pichumani had a problem. Krishna, you have grown suddenly tall because by the time all this happened, one year had gone away. So now these boys go to their houses that evening and they tell, Mother, you remember you gave, you gave nice Gonkura rice. Mother, in the last one year, I have not made Gonkura rice at all. I made that on April 14th last year. But these boys were unaware this one year had transitioned. We talk about uh, time travel, right? This is something very similar to the prisoner of Azkaban. Huh? Now, then Brahma comes. He says, please forgive me, sir. Some, some mood problem I had, I did this. Narayanastvam nahi sarvadehi nam atmasya dhisha khila loka sakshi Narayanungam Narabhujalayan Atachapapi Satyam Natavaiva Maya. Then Krishna, Balarama, and his friends, they all go to the forest. They find one ferocious donkey coming to attack. That donkey was Kamsa's friend. His name was Dhenuka. So, Krishna, when Dhenuka attacks all the people around, he feels that you should not show any more mercy to this donkey. He lifts the donkey and throws the donkey. And the donkey goes and hits on the trees and falls. The moment the donkey falls, the jackals in the forest, they all come running towards Krishna. So here comes a shlokam. Bhattadri says, Vinigghnati tvayyata jambukau gam sanama katvad varanastadanim bhayakulo jambukanam adheyam shutif prasiddham Vyadhiteti manye shruti prasiddham. So he says, Jambuka came running and they all were petrified looking at Krishna and went back. What are the Jambukas? In Sanskritam, Jambukam means a jakal. But Bhattadri says, Varuna Deva is also called Jambuka in Vedam. Jambuka Yanamaha means Varuna. But generally, how many of you know that Varuna is also called Jambuka? Very few. Why did Varuna not 
keep his name Jambuka, the other name of him very popular because he was worried, if at all my name which is Jambuka, the other name Jambuka is also made popular, tomorrow along with the wolves, even jackals, even Krishna will treat me badly. So he hid his name inside certain Anuvakams of the Vedam. Shutif Prasiddham Yaditeti Manni, says Bhattadri. Now, Vina Ramena, without taking Balarama one day, Krishna along with his friends went to the banks of a little lake formed by the waters of Yamuna. He didn't go to the river water. He went to the Oxbow Lake when the river meanders. In certain occasions, a meandering river detaches itself. The meandered portion of the river detaches itself from the original river and forms a lake within itself. It is called the Oxbow Lake. So from the meandered waters of the Yamuna River, a lake was formed and in the waters of that lake lived a snake of virulent poison, shedding poison called Kaliya. And Kaliya came to the lake because he was once... He once took away the food that was meant for Garuda. Garuda did not see. Technically, Purana Garuda will have only snakes. Temple Garuda will have curd rice. <laughs> Temple Agama Shastram tells you should not go by the deity's diet schedule. If Nasimha will have non-vegetarian food, we cannot keep food for Nasimha that way. So in the Temple Agama Mashes keep curd rice. But original Garuda will have snakes. So the snakes that were meant for Garuda were taken away by another snake. You know snakes eat snakes. So he consumed those snakes and uh, Garuda came flying behind Kali and Kaliya fell into the waters where Shaubari, a Maharishi was performing penance. The moment Kaliya sought refuge in the Rishi, Shaubari said, since you have sought refuge, it is my duty, utmost duty to protect you. Garuda, if you come to this pond anymore where Kaliya resides, you shall die. Garuda did not come. And taking advantage of the situation, Kaliya was not doing justice to the waters of this lake. He only used to puke poison. Technically, poison is one component when in the saliva of a snake. But he used to shed large proportions of it, thereby making the water polluted and non-palatable, unpalatable for people around. That is when... Krishna comes along with his friends and plays in the waters of Kaliya. There you have the ball that they were playing falling into the waters of the lake. Krishna jumps. Now there is a point here. When Krishna jumps, he uses the swimming pad to jump. What is that swimming pad? There was this branch of a tree called Kunda Shaka which is bending itself towards the waters of the lake and he stood atop it. Since the water was filled with the poison, the grass, the meadows around the lake did not survive. It was all dry. It was parched. So that is when Krishna stands atop that particular shakha which has no leaves and jumps into the water. That is when Vedanta Deshika says when Krishna jumped a little the leaf sprung from that place. So when there is Bhagavata Sambandham, what generally the nature tries to punish us with, we can slightly mitigate the intensity with which the nature shows us when we try to associate ourselves with Paramatma. So Krishna jumped. The moment Krishna jumped, all of them, they were all very worried. They went to Yashoda and said, See, Krishna has jumped into the waters of Kaliya. Now Yashoda got very worried and she came. Where is my dear son? Krishna is not to be seen. Oh, where is he? Somebody jump. Nobody had the audacity to jump into the waters. Kaliya was there. So, she was worried. On the other hand, while this was being summarized by Bhattadri and Sriman Narayaniyam, he was a bit confused. He thought, will a little boy have the power to fight a snake? Something Shuka Brahma must have said and I have to speak about this. But how can I speak or write about something which I generally don't agree with? He thought. And as he closed and opened his eyes, Anantarama Dikshitar used to state, he heard the sound of the bubbles emanating from the close by lake and from it emerged Krishna. And as he saw Krishna dance, he wrote his Dashakam. 
ಅಥವಾರಿಣಿ ಘೋರತರ ಫಣಿಣ ಪ್ರತಿವಾರಯಿತು ಕೃತಧೀರ್ಭಗವನ್ ಧೃತ ಮಾರಿತತಿ ರಗನಿ ಪತರು ವಿಷಮಾರುತಶೋ ಶೀತಪರ್ಣಚಯಂ ಭುವನತ್ರಯ ಭಾರಭೃತ ವರತ ಗುರುಭಾರವಿಕ ಪಿವಿಜೃಂಭಿಜಲ ಪರಿಮಜ್ಜಯತಿ ಸ್ಮಧನು ಶತಕ ತಟಿನಿ ಝಟಿತಿ ಸ್ಫುಟಘೋಷವತಿ ಅಧಿರುಹ್ಯ ತತ ಪಣಿರಜಪಣ್ಣನೃತೆ ಭವತ ಮೃದುಪದರುಚ ಕಲಶಿಂಜಿತ ಮ ಕಲಶಿಂಜಿತನೂಪುರ ಮಂಜು ಮಿಲತ್ ಕರ ಕಂಕಣ ಸಂಕುಲ ಸಂಕಣಿತ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಗುರುವಾಯೂರ್ ಎನ್ ಅದರ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪೋಯೆಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ವೆಂಕಟ ಕವಿ ಇನ್ ಉತ್ಕಾಡ್ ಸೇಸ್ ತಾಮಿತ ತಜ್ಜಂ ತಗತಜ್ಜಂ ತಗದಿಕ ತಜ್ಜಂ ತಾಂ ತಾಮಿತ ತಜ್ಜಂ ತಗತಜ್ಜಂ ತಗದಿಕ ತಜ್ಜಂ ತಾಂ ನೀಲ ಮನೋಹರ ಜಾಲ ವಿಭೂಷಣ ನಿರತಿಶ ನಂದನ ನೀರಜ ತಟಾಕ ಅತಿಕ ಮೃದುಳ ಪದ ನಿಕಟ ತರಂಗೋ ತುಂಗತ ಆಟಂಕ ನೃತ್ತಕ ನೃತ್ತಕ ತಾಂ ಹೌ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಡಾನ್ಸ್ ನೌ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಡಾನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪ್ಲರಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯಾಡ್ ಅ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಗುರು ಭಾರ ಬಿಗ್ ಬಾಡಿ he dances his belly also dances avarada <laughs> vayarada now the beauty is see krishna's dance was good but how do we know about kalinga nartana dance because the greatest of the dancers appreciated that dance nataraja swami he stopped dancing in chidambaram his wife shivakameshwari ಶಿವ ಕಾಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ಚಿಂತೆ ಹಂ ಶೃಂಗಾರ ಶ್ರೀ ಸೆಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಡಾನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ಮೈ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಹೀಸ್ ನೌಟ್ ಡಾನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಗೋಕುಲ್ ಶಿವ ಸೆಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಹೀ ಜನರಲಿ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಹೀಸ್ ಡಾನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಟುಕ್ ನಂದಿ ವಾಹನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ಚೆಕ್ಡ್ Shiva said I agree your brother is a great dancer Parvati said you are the great dancer but how do you give a testimonial to my brother oh, Parvati when i dance i dance the stage doesn't dance but while your brother dances he dances the stage is also dancing ha adalai kaana tillai ambala tirai vanuntan ಆಡಲೈ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇಂಗೇ ಗೋಕುಲಂ ಬಂದ ಗುರು ಆಡಲಿನಾಲ್ ಶಿರಯಾದವನೇ ಒರುಮಾಮಣಿ ರಗಣಿ ಮಾಧವನೇನಿ ಆಡದು ಅಶಂಗದ ಸೊ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲಿ ಡಾನ್ಸಸ್ ನೌ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಕಾಳಿಂಗ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲಿವ್ ಇನ್ ದೀಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ರೆಸಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೃಂದಾವನ gokula you please go elsewhere where can i go krishna you go to some other place krishna if i go to some other place garud will come and take me don't worry i have danced on you shankha chakra mudra is there on you if he sees you from the top garud will not do anything he will shake hands with you and go then kaliya left now there is another there are three occasions where th- there is said to have been a forest fire there is no better place than your state to narrate this <laughs> huh? krishna krishna mahabhaga he rama atidya vikrama yesha ghoratamo vanhi stavakan grasate hi naha so when it was forest fire everything burnt that is when the gopikas threes gopajana they had only one thing see that is the difference between us and gopikas threes they have listened to no bhagavatam but they know one thing when there is problem call krishna we have a doubt there kutta varuvara theriye yo kutta paakala anda varatum this diffidence in us that sol sharanagati shastram will go away will vanish there rakshishyati iti vishwasah tells shastram it is not the lord who protects his devotee it's the confidence that the devotee has on the lord that protects him rakshishyati iti vishwasah 
So Gopika's trees and the Gopajana said, Krishna, help us. Krishna said, close your eyes. Krishna, it is burning. It is burning, Krishna. You are now us. You are playing games with us. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. They closed. He swallowed the fire. Sir, is this all logically tenable? It is not logically tenable. He swallowed the fire. Now, Vallabhacharya in his commentary called. I mentioned that yesterday. Pushti Sampradayam. What was his commentary called? I mentioned that also. Tabarango. Out of syllabus. Uh, Subodhini. So, Subodhini, he says, Why Krishna? What did he try to prove by consuming the fire? Because in Sahasranama we say, Mukhamapi Dahano. His mouth is the fire. Mukhamapi Dahano Yasyavasteyam Abhihi. So, he had to prove the world that the fire has come from his mouth by consuming the fire. Second, Having been associated with Kaliya, he was infested with the pollutants, it seems. He wanted to get rid of the pollutants. The only way is to burn those pollutants, so he consumed the fire. The other reason Bhattadri tells us, there is a quality associated with the fire called Pitatvam. So Pitatvam in Sanskritam, which Bhattadri had deciphered in those days prior to this incident was, Pita means yellow. So, Pitatvam is the ability to showcase the color yellow. So, Bhattadri was thinking all this while that fire has the quality called Pitatvam which is to showcase the yellow color. Till Krishna consumed the fire. After he consumed is when he realized that the dictionary also gives another meaning to Pitatvam. That which is drinkable. Pitatvam means drinkable. Then only he realized that fire is called Pitatvam because Krishna has swallowed fire. Shikhini varnata yevahi pitata parila satya dhuna kriya yapya sau iti nutav pashupair muditair vibho harahare duritaihi sahame gadan. Now, as we describe uh, this, there is another sambhavam. Krishna goes with his friends. To the forest. He continues that journey. As he goes to the forest, his friends say, Krishna, we are hungry. We are hungry. Hey, man. So, as they were very hungry, Rama, Rama, Mahavirya, Krishna, Dushtani, Barhana, Yesha, Vai, Badhate, Ekshunnam, Yakshanti, Kartu, Marhataha. We are hungry. Krishna said, don't worry. The closest Sangeeta or Saravana available is. Hmm? You go to the place where the Brahmanas are performing a yagam called Angirasam. Prayata Deva Yajanam Brahmana Brahmavadinaha Satram Angirasam Nama Hyasate Swarga Kamyaya Go to the place where Brahmanas are performing Angirasam. So they are performing yagam, which means they are all astikas or nastikas? Astikas. Ah, now comes the point. There were a group of people in the Yester Bharata Desham who believed in the Vedas, learnt the Vedas, learnt the Vedic injunctions and aphorisms, and used to abide by the teachings of the Vedas, thereby performing yagam, but would never believe in God. What is this group, sir? This group was called Purva Mimamsaka. Purva Mimamsakas never believed in the presence of God. They didn't believe in God. Sir, then why are you performing Yagam? Vedam says. What will you get because of this? We will reach Swargam. Where is Swargam? You have to keep going. Urdhvagati idi Swargam. This is how they used to describe. So they were called Purva Mimamsakas. So they believed in the first three portions of the Vedas, Brahmanam, Aranyakam, Samhitam. They never used to trust in the fourth portion. What is it? Upanishad. Upanishad only talks about the greatness of Parabrahma. They never used to believe. Now the, they were performing Yagam. They were Purva Mimamsakas. Their concentration was completely on the Yagam. So these boys came and said, Mama, hungry. Don't come here. These mamas chased those boys. Oh, these boys went to Krishna. Mama, good come on, 
देशकाल पृथक द्रव्यम मंत्र तंत्र विजोग्नय देवता यजमान क्रतुर्धर्म चयन्मय दे गिव फूड दीज बॉयज वेंट एंड सेट कृष्णा वी आर हंग्री दीज मामा सेट दे वोट गिव डोंट वरी गो टू देर मामीज Go in the backyard and tell the mummies. Mummies, mummies were uttarami mamsakas. They had gone to Vedanta classes. They keep listening to Upanishads. So mummies said, when Krishna himself is asking, my husbands, our husbands are propitiating Parabrahmam through the yagam. They are unaware the one who grants phalam for the yagam is asking for the Havir book. So they immediately gave whatever they had cooked. என்ன <laughs> 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 you have to go back if you come without the concurrence of your family members then they may find faults with you go back and he sent meanwhile the girls in vrindavanam because they had shifted from gokulam to vrindavanam understanding the evil signs shown by gokulam because one asura after the other came they all shifted to vrindavanam so in vrindavanam all the strees had only one desire in their bedrooms they will have the photo of krishna there was a big krishna rasigar mandram krm so they all were members of it they used to say did you see krishna did they will take one selfie all this with krishna so they all had only one desire to marry krishna all of them so if you are born as a man alongside krishna during his time high chances you will have to sit next to ganesha <laughs> no marriage hemante prathame mase nandavraj kumarika ha சேருர்ஹவிஷ்யம் புஞ்சான அர்ச்சனவிரதம் சோ தே ஆல் தாட் டு ரீச் கிருஷ்ணா டு அட்டைன் கிருஷ்ணா த ஓன்லி வேஸ் டு சீக் ஹிஸ் சிஸ்டர்ஸ் கிரேஸ் காத்தியாயனி மகாமாயே மகாயோகிஞ்யதீஸ்வரி நந்தகோபசுதம் தேவி பதி மே குருதே மனஹ தே ஆல் ப்ரோபிஷியேட்டட் காத்தியாயனி no krishna thought see if i i don't have a problem but if i marry so many women how will my mother manage she won't even know the name of her daughters in law number 1 number 4501 it will be like court case right satchi kupdu pa 4500 baba so how will so he appeared before those ladies and said see one night one autumnal night wait for that night you will get one great vedantik anubhavam they all waited Meanwhile, Nanda Gopa started planning for an Utsavam, group work, team work. That was, Govar, uh, that was Indra Puja. So Indra was the one who was responsible for the clouds to precipitate. So let's pray to nature and let's pray to Indra. Abala prekshaniyam pranatanimi shairad bhutanam pradhanam. ூத்தாபயந்தோபாரைவிக்கலைஸ்வம்ோபவருஸ்ஸ்ஸ்ஸ்ஸ்ஸ்ஸ்ஸ்ஸ்ஸ்ஸ்ஸ்ஸ்
Nandagopal said, he gives us rains. Immediately Krishna asked, is giving rains, shedding rains, precipitation, is this his duty or is he volunteering to do? So he said, no, no, it is, I don't know Krishna. Wait, it is his duty to precipitate. Paramatma has ordained on Indra to manage the clouds and give proper rains. Even if not every year, once in four years for California. So it's his duty. For doing duty, you don't have to give mamul. Many of you may not know mamul. You know what is mamul? Huh? This is mamul. Over and above what you are ordained to get is called mamul. Hmm? So Krishna said we don't have to do Indra all these things. Instead we should honor the volunteers. Who is the volunteer? Nanda Gopal asked. See we get, we are able to have a good decent livelihood because of selling our dairy products. Dairy products largely depends on the milk, curd, butter, ghee. That is given to us by the cows. And these bovine rays are fed with the grasses that grow over the slopes of the Govardhana Parvata. Govardhana gives. Let's go worship Govardhana. Then Nanda Gopala said, if Krishna says it will be right. That is why he chose to be amongst the Gopas. If Krishna says, they immediately accept. We will ask, yeah, why? That's why he has kept it as in Kali Yuga. Otherwise, he would have got moksham, right? So, immediately Krishna says, and those people agree, and Krishna, they ask Krishna, what should we do? Cook whatever you can. And let's all take it in our carts at the foothills of Govardhanam. They went there, put the mama's veshti, <laughs> dhoti, and put mountains of rice. It's called Annakutotsavam. Mountains of rice. In fact, in Shiva temples, once a year, there is some ritual called Annabhishekam. So in Vishnu temple, you have got this. It's called Tirupavadai Utsava. So huge Veshti above that. Mountains of cooked white rice. Not brown rice. White rice. Not even quinoa. White rice. Now, over that white rice, at the top, as a peak, the boiled concoction of pulikachal was added. Vedanta Deshika says, you know what is pulikachal? Okay. Pulikachal is a paste with which you can make tamarind rice. And pulikachal should technically be made from old tamarind. It will get the dark color. So how was it looking? Vedanta Deshika says, this mountains of white rice looked like kailasham and at the top pulikachal looked like the dark rain bearing clouds over kailasham. Now, it was kept before the mountain and uh, different savouries, all, what all they had cooked, they had kept before the mountain. Now the Gopikas threes and the Gopas were very innocent people. They said the mountain should eat now. Immediately Krishna asked, will mountains eat? Those people said, Ganesha will drink milk. <laughs> so, it has to Happen. Now Krishna had no other choice. The mountain has to consume that food. Why do we keep prasadam before the Lord? Because we are sheer, full, con fully confident he won't eat. <laughs> if he starts eating, you <laughs> will eat it. You will eat it. So, this food was kept and Krishna said, do parikrama. If you go to Uttar Pradesh, even today there is something called Govardhana Parikrama. Their devotees, they won't walk like us. When I took Yatris, we all went in nice footwear. We went around. Some of them had the savouries in the, on the way. Jalebi, Jangri and all they had. But there if you see devotees, they'll sleep. Wherever their head resides, they'll again recline there. They will keep doing parikrama by reclining. 21 kilometers. So, because they feel this is the place where Krishna has walked, they all did parikrama. Now, all this Krishna consumed. Aham vaishvana ro bhutva pranina deham ashritaha prana apana samayuktaha pachamyannam chaturvidham. So, 
Krishna consumed all this. Bhavadva cham shutva bahumati yuta stepi pashupa ha. Vijendra narchanto bali madar uchay kshiti bhrite. Vyadhupra dakshinyam subhrishamanan nadar yuta. Tvamadaha shailatma bali makilama bhira purataha. He consumed. Now after these people came they all felt happy. And we are all very happy, Krishna. The mountain is so happy and it is consumed. Krishna burped. <laughs> yes. It has consumed very well. And they all went to. Now this is where problem comes. Narada Maharishi went to Indra. Indra, Mamul. It will come. Yeah, it won't come. Utsavam is over. Utsavam for whom? Not for you, for Govardhanam. Indra got angry. I told you, right? Brahma has mood swings. Even Indra will have mood swings. Immediately what he did, he called the rain-bearing clouds Sambartaka Megham and said, go do a cloud burst over Vrindavana. It was pouring. It was pouring so much so, there is one shloka of Vedanta Deshika. Stanahita swastika bahubandha syanalaka sannata vaktrapadma vilagna deha vasanairya vishan bajastriyo vadita dantavinaha. As it was pouring continuously, water had come into the houses of the Gopika's trees. They were trembling, it was shiver, shivering cold. So they went to Krishna's house and they said, Krishna, it's, it's pouring. So they were shivering. How did they speak? Vedanta Deshika says, Vadita Danta Veenaha. They spoke as if they had Veena in their mouths. Vadita Danta Veenaha. They spoke. And what was Krishna doing? Water had entered their houses. They knocked at Krishna's door, thinking Krishna will also be perplexed. He was eating. <laughs> cool people. You know, some people are very cool. <laughs> so Krishna said, come, follow me. Now Krishna had to prove to them of their devotion. So he had to use the Govardhana to protect them, to tell them, see you have offered your obeisances to Govardhana, Govardhana has protected you. So he took them there again, this is logically untenable. With his nails he draw, drew a boundary around the Govardhana Parvatam, big parikrama, it is pouring. They are all shivering, cow, calves. Krishna lifted that mountain. Sir, little boy, you are talking as if he is lifting some pillow. He lifted the mountain. And now comes another addition. Harivamsham, which is the appendix of portion of Mahabharatam and Periyarvar's Pasurams and Vedanta Deshika's verses. We get to know that Krishna did not just lift the mountain. He inverted it. So the tip of that mountain became the holding portion. And the base went to the top. Why did he do all these actions, sir? Because only then the cows and the calves can manage to eat the grass and the tree leaves. If he keeps it like this, what will they eat? So he reversed, says Harivamsham. Payoda bharair nimitam namakim shesha hina bhumi ruta pranunna. Adurata samputa bhava bhajor asita yorantaram aplasesham. So Krishna, he reversed the mountain. And he held this mountain like this. Yashoda, after a few hours, thought, wow. She went in. She started feeding Krishna. He was holding. She started feeding. She said, why should my son alone hold that mountain? Komalam, send your son. <laughs> See, well, I used to study in my 10th and 11th days. There used to be often power cuts. So, when there used to be a power cut in my house, the first thing my mother will say, check if the power is there in the next house. If they don't have, we are happy. Loka, Samasta, Sukhino, Bhavantu. So, I don't know, here mothers are all relaxed. Relaxed, no, North America mothers. In my place, when I used to study my mother, first, before telling my marks, how much did he get? <laughs> how much did she get? I, she wouldn't even know what I have scored. 
she is she wants every child to be good let us give the credit to her now the lord lifted the mountain that is when the men hovered around nandagopa and said nandagopa we are very doubtful if this is your son you have not done even one act which proves your prowess or valor and this boy is lifting the mountain even nandagopa had a doubt <laughs> he said no 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 see in my childhood i have lifted a few mountains you are all not aware of it that's why my son is lifting krishna was holding for 7 days the clouds were exhausted of the water content in them and they had turned white they all went away no more water in the clouds that is when krishna said it won't rain any further you all go back home as he they all left he kept he took that hill brought it upside down again and placed it in the same place this is what we should learn from krishna if we take something in our house we should learn how to keep it back govardhan giridhar गोविंद गोकुल पालक परमानंद गोवधन गिरिधर नाउ इंद्र इज द वन रिस्पांसिबल नाउ ही रियलाइज्ड हिज फोली स्लोली दे विल टेक लिटिल टाइम ट्यूब लाइट सो दे विल टेक लिटिल टाइम देन ही हैड टू कम इन सर्च ऑफ कृष्णा दैट इज व्हेन विष्णु पुराणम टेल्स इंद्र हैड टू सर्च वेयर कृष्णा इज वेयर डिड ही स्पॉट कृष्णा he saw garuda fly and provide shade to one person that is where krishna is garudam chadadarsho chair uchchaidantagatam dvija kritachayam hare murdhini paksha bhyam pakshi pungavam so garuda was giving now indra came and said krishna i am very sorry i should have not tested your valor and prowess please forgive me and he called the celestial cows and said pour milk on him we will do coronation to krishna govinda pattabhishekam in rama pattabhishekam every one except indra had come out of sheer arrogance indra did not come check the last uh, adhyayam sargam of yuddha kandam indra did not come he sent his gift necklace he did not come arrogance krishna wanted to show him his place that is why in govinda patta abhishekam nan but indra ki parida sura ripu pada pabrunda pavana charita paramruta kanda natyara swasthata nana bharana बैंबू ट्री ब्रोक वन मेड समी ब्लू यादवराय वृंदवन तोड़ो वेणुनाधव मड़ुति रे राधा मुंता गोपियल मधुसूदन वाट भाग्यम दट वेणु हेज डन इज इज देर एनी वाद्यम इन द नाद lokam which can match the glamour and the fortune what venu had he touched the lord's lips in fact two vadyams in sanatana dharma's ashtadasha vadyam have the association of the lord's lips one is the flute the other is the corn shankham that is why andal who has fallen in love with the lord head over heels she wants to know how the lord's mouth smells see amongst the nayaka and nayika the mouth should smell good see we have advertisements where the girl will go near the boy he will open his mouth 
then he will put that mouth freshener abdin thara par abdi she will fall no andal is asking karpuram narumo kamalapu narumo does he smell like the camphor does he smell like the lotuses that have just blossomed karpuram narumo kamalapu narumo tirupavala shivaidan titit irukumo does he taste well see we find all these things in krishna avatara our books are a conglomeration of dharma artha kama moksha krishna would chew the betel leaves after chewing half he will put that remaining into the gopika sri she will take it hmm? so don't keep thinking of mudal van this is the ஒருவன் <laughs> குழல் ஊதி நின்றான் காலமெல்லாம் காலமெல்லாம் அவன் காதலை எண்ணி உருகுமோ என் உள்ளம் சோ திஸ் ஃப்ளூட் ஹவு மச் இட் இஸ் அட்ராக்டட் ஆல் அவர் வாகைய காராஸ் அலைப்பாயுதே கண்ணாயில் மனமிக அலைப்பாயுதே உன்னரத மோகன வேணுகானமதில் பால்வடியுள் முகம் நினைந்து நினைதென் உள்ளம் பரவசமிகவாகுதே அசைந்தாடும் மகில் ஒன்று கண்டால் நம் அழகன் வந்தான் என்றே சொல்வது போல் தோன்றும் குழலூதி மனம் எல்லாம் பொருளை கொண்ட பின்பும் குறையேதும் எனக்கேதடி தாயே யசோத உந்தநாயர் குல துதித்த மாயன் கோபால கிருஷ்ணன் செய்யும் ஜலத்தை கேளடி தாயே யசோத played the flute and one autumnal night around 7:38 dinner time he played the flute somewhere flute music was coming in that vrindavanam the women were extremely adept in recognizing appreciating and internalizing nadam music all their husbands were useless <laughs> you know it is always it will be good if both the husband and wife relish one art so both of them can come to the place finish and have food and go <laughs> if one alone likes it is where the problem comes ubanya asad pore varela ayye i can't sit for 2 hours இவர் உலகத்தை படைக்க போறார் என்னம்மா நிஷாதத்தை போட்டு பிடிச்சி எடுத்து அலெக்ஸ் பாபு கிட்ட கொடுத்துட்டார் see if you don't relish music you won't you can't you can't teach that art here as krishna was playing the flute see that is why in rasa krida the men didn't part there was no restriction pabandi nahi tha na ki sirf stree gan aa sakte hain purush nahi aa sakte aisa koi kuch nahi tha udhar why didn't the men come all duds in music 
So here, as Krishna played the flute, one lady was, at night 7.30, she had finished her dinner, she had to boil the milk. Milk is one thing that will never boil when you look at it. <laughs> you keep looking at it, it won't boil. Hmm? When you turn, it will boil. <laughs> milk knows our, it can see. So, Bhartrihari, have you heard of Bhartrihari? He wrote something called Shatakatrayam. Shungara Shatakam, Neeti Shatakam, no, 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 Vairagya Shatakam. In Shatakam, he says in one of the shlokas, how milk and water are good friends. You know milk and water are good friends? That is why milkmen in India want to create this friendship more. More water they add, milk will feel delighted. You are bringing close to my friend. So milk and water is a colloid. It, will, it is liquid and liquid. It will go very well. So, but if you keep fire beneath this milk, this fire has this ability to separate that two friends, milk and water. So, that water will get separated from that milk in the form of vapor. In the gaseous state, it will keep going. And below is milk. So, the milk can't see itself getting separated from water. So, it rises up. Don't leave me. That time the person who is boiling may want to convince that milk. No, I will bring your friend together. So, he will take little water, sprinkle. Then he will become normal. So, one lady was boiling the milk. The other lady was trying to help her husband with dal. So, he said dal, dal. It was there at the top, floating in the air. Because she was mesmerized in the music. She was not interested in all these dal. See, once you go to that Krishna Bhakti, all these little things won't matter to us. Now we are concerned, oh, I have to reply to that person. If I don't call that person for this Navaratri, what will that person think? Last time itself, that person was upset with me. All these things till we get Krishna Bhakti. Once that Krishna Bhakti comes, whether that person listens to me or not, let her think whatever she wants. Is she going to give moksham to me? Huh? So, Krishna Bhakti will give you that vairagya. So, all these women in their houses, they were completely engrossed in the music and they started getting out of their houses. Not one, not five, not ten, not fifteen, not hundred, not five hundred, not thousand. 5 lakh women folk. Entire Bay Area. They all came. And they went towards the area where this music emanated. And it was close to the banks of River Yamuna. They, saw, they spotted Krishna at a distance standing below the tree. He was standing at a beautiful pose. One leg bent. One shoulder bent with the flute, with his head slightly slanted and effortlessly blowing into the flute, giving beautiful ragams. Effortless. See, for people who cook, people who drive, you know certain drivers are so good. The, the way they sit itself will tell, at ease they will sit. When you cook, you should have that, you should measuring 20 grams of urad dal. Little salt to taste. But people who are adept at cooking, you know, for years together, they don't have to look. They'll just say, put little salt, put this. It will be a wonderful dish. So Krishna effortlessly was playing the flute. That pose. See, people who are very good at photography, they'll come and say, So... See, initially in the 1970s, 80s, 90s, when photography was like the style quotient, if during the girl or the boy's marriage, the parents will come and stand, sare jaha, straight and... <laughs> now later our photographers thought this is not the right way. Now they, they have gone to candid photography. 
நம்ம கொட்டாவி விடும்போது எடுத்துருவா இதெல்லாம் போய் எடுத்திருக்கேன் அந்த செடு நான் சுரிஞ்சுட்டு இருப்பேன் தட் ஹி உட் கேப்சர் ஹி ஸ்கிராச்சிங் சோ வெல் சோ ஆல் தீஸ் உமன் கேம் கிருஷ்ணா வாஸ் ஸ்டாண்டிங் Krishna saw these five lakh women folk and said, see, if you are also coming in such a disorganized manner, how will I be able to give you the Deva Anubhavam, Vedanta Anubhavam? So all stand in concentric circles. They all stood. I told you, they all listened to Krishna. If we are going to say anything, we are going to tell you. Go, go. So they all stood in concentric circles. Five lakh women folk. Calculate how many, consider the diameter. take the pi r square then you put 2 r you will get the diameter then you see how many circles because you should have a gap of at least 5% buffer you have to keep people have to breathe then imagine how many circles would have come imagine seeing it from the birds eye view from the top you are capturing using a drone camera how will it look now krishna says all of you are standing 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 because it is to reach till the last so they were speakers so leave a gap between the women so gap not that brand gap <laughs> woman gap woman anganam anganam so there was a gap all of you left you have you left a gap yes krishna yes krishna all close your eyes close your eyes closed open they opened they saw krishna on either sides அங்கணா மங்கணா மந்தரே மாதவோ மாதவம் மாதவம் சரந்தரே நங்கண இத்தமா கல்பிதே மண்டலே மத்தியக சஞ்சகவு வேணுனா தேவகி நந்தனஹா சென்ட்ரல் மேன் வாஸ் அ பர்கூஷனிஸ்ட் ஹி ஸ்டார்டட் பிளேயிங் நோ பட்டத்ரி வண்டர் வெதர் திஸ் குட் ஹவ் அக்கர்ட் லிட்டில் பாய் மேனேஜிங் சச் சோ மெனி உமன் இஸ் இட் பாசிபிள் தட் இஸ் வென் கிருஷ்ணா ஷோகேஸ் தட் ராசக்ரீடா இன் குருவாயூர் கேஷபாஷிஞ்சி கவிதசி சஞ்சலன்மகரகுண்டலம் கேஷபாஷிஞ்சி கவிதசி சஞ்சலன்மகரகுண்டலம் ஹாரஜாலவன மாலிகாலளிதம் அங்கராககன சௌரபம் பீத்தேலத காஞ்சி காஞ்சித முதங்கஜம் சுமணி நூபுரம் ராசகேளி பரிபூஷிதம் தவஹி ரூபமீஷ கலையாமகே ஆஸ் தே வெர் டான்சிங் ஒன் உமன் ஏஜ்ட் உமன் ஷி ஹேட் வர்டிகோ ப்ராப்ளம் ஸோ ஷி ஃபெயிண்டட் ஷி ஆல் ஃபெயிண்டட் நோ எவ்ரிபடி வாண்ட்ஸ் டு டான்ஸ் ஐ டோன் நோ ஹவு மெனி எல்டர்லி பீப்புள் ஹியர் வில் பி ஏபிள் டு அசோசியேட் மேரேஜஸ் எஸ்பெஷலி இன் த சவுத் ஆஃப் இந்தியா 20 30 years back was a simple ritual they'll be vanjanavasam they'll now whether marriage happens or not sangeet has to happen mehndi laga ke rakhna and then sangeet in that sangeet both all their parents what are their unfulfilled wishes of dancing will come out now all of them will jump so this lady she fainted but as she swooned she managed to fall onto the shoulders of krishna now the other krishna there are many krishnas there i told you right one krishna went and bought some bovonto do you know bovonto uh, here they won't know id enna enna kuduthu kelidu eight right eight right okay eight you know energy drink so krishna sprinkled on that lady so she came back to consciousness now but she was a bit confused if i gain consciousness then i will lose this unique opportunity of lying on his shoulders so she still acted as if she was unconscious <laughs> bhattadri says he may not know i have spotted you 
ಸ್ವಿನ್ನಸನ್ನತನುವಲ್ಲರೀತದನು ಕಾಪಿ ನಾಮ ಪಶು ಪಾಂಗಣ ಸಾಂದ್ರಮ ಸಮವಲಂಬತೆ ಸ್ಮ ಧೃತಾಂತಿ ಭಾರ ಮುಕುಳೆ ಕ್ಷಣ ಕಾಚಿದಾಚಲಿದ ಕುಂತ ನವ ಪಟೀರ ಸಾರ ಘನ ಸೌರಭಂ ವಂಚನೇನ ತವ ಸಂಚು ಚುಂಬುಜ ಮಂಚಿ ತೋರು ಪುಳಕ ಗುರ ದೆನ್ ವೆಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಡ್ ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಆ ನೌ finally found that this should be the boy born to my sister and my brother in law who may have the ability to vanquish me for having killed a list of anti social elements so he wants to invite krishna so he sends his most trusted minister called akrura akrura goes and akrura is welcome because he is carrying the emblem of mathura dynasty people welcome him they give him all good fruits and everything and that night akrura tells nandagopa that this is not your son it is vasudeva's son he belongs to mathura the king has summoned him nandagopa gets the shock of his life so he goes and tells to yashoda yashoda this is not our son that night was the cruelest of nights yashoda couldn't take this she couldn't digest the fact that krishna is not hers the next morning when krishna left it's a very emotional scene visrjya lajjam rurudusma suswaram govinda damodara madhaveti she ran behind a chariot it was carrying krishna she just said who will give him that bath and food from now on so maita dvijaskar karunasya nama bhudguru akrura ityet adiva darunaha that is when they said you have been named wrongly you are not akrura you are akrura akuraha sakrura hridayaha now akrura as he is going to do sandhya vandhanam he gets into the waters balarama and krishna were in the chariot he gets into the waters as he dips ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನಮಃಕಾರಣಮತ್ಸ್ಯಾ ಪ್ರಳಯಾಭಿಚರಾ ಚಯಶೀರ್ಷ್ಣೆ ನಮಸ್ತುಭ್ಯಂ ಮಧುಕೈಟಪ ಮೃತ್ಯವೇ ಹಿ ಸೆಲಿಬ್ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಮಥುರಾನೋ ನೌ ಸಿ ಗೋ ಬೃಂದಾವನ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಜೆಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಮಥುರಾ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಜೆಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಜೆಮ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ನೌ ಮಥುರಾ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಿ ವೆರ್ ವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಅಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ you know with the way you played that flute itself we knew that you are mathura person only and madura vasa konnu vandu so krishna entered swagatam krishna sharanagatam krishna madhura puri sadana mrudu vadana madhusudana ih swagatam krishna sharanagatam krishna so krishna entered that is one one lady who used to grind sandal paste she used to grind only for kamsa nobody else can use it nobody even had the audacity to ask that chandanam but krishna asked as as she walked she was called trivakra or aneka vakra she had lot of deformities she couldn't even look up she was hunched so she could look only down when krishna came and said she could hear only the voice because she can't see the face she could only see his feet Hey Kujja, can you please give me some chandana? She will just chase away, shoo away people. But today she said, take. 
Vyakya asks, how did she give it to Krishna? Because she saw that Pada Pankajam. She was told in the lectures that this feet that is akin to the petals of a lotus flower belongs only to Paramatma. She gave. He applied on himself. He applied litten on her deformities like a plastic surgeon. He corrected. She became a nice, beautiful lady. Kubjam abja vilochanam patipunar drishtva angarage taya datte sadhu ki langaraga madadatasya mahantam hridi. Everyone, whatever best possible, they brought outside their house to welcome Krishna. Now, later, 400 years back, just now, 400 years back, in Guruvayur, I spoke about Narayana Bhattadri who was suffering from rheumatoid arthritis. See, whenever we have an ailment, we will ask this question. Why me? We are all good people. I have listened to Bhagavatam. Why headache for me? The person next door has not listened. He could have got it. That person will say, because you have listened, you have got it. <laughs> so, Bhattadri had this million dollar question. Why me? Isn't this a question that we have to ourselves? Why me? To which he gets an answer in this Dashakam. He says, Krishna, every person who lived in Mathura while you were entering that city wanted to welcome you with all grandeur. They stood with a golden platter, whatever they best had and welcomed you. They were in the reception committee to welcome you. Every person in Mathura. Krishna, now I have realized, now I am born as Bhattadri in Kerala. In my many previous janmas, one of the janmas was in Mathura. And that happened to be during that day, during that time while you lived and you came into Mathura. And I alone did not get out of my house to welcome you. Because I did not welcome you when you got into Mathura, today I am suffering from rheumatoid arthritis. See, what, he, what it literally means is, what we are suffering today is our own making. Unless and until we accept this karma and the postulates of karma theory in its entirety, we will keep asking this question, why me, why me, why is this child suffering? See, newborn children, they will have ailments. From gestational diabetes, they will have diabetes. Parents are normal. What do we answer? Purva janma karma. So, Tavan Nishchita Vaibhavastava Vibhona Atyanta Papa Jana Yet Kinchit Buddha case Mat Shakti Nugunam Tambula Malyadikam Grintana Kusumadi Kinchanata Marge Nibadanjali Atishtam Bataha Yatodia Vipulam Artim Brajami Prabho, Artim Brajami Prabho, He Prabho Krishna, take this ailment from me. Arti means problem. Please take this Arti from me. Artim Brajami Prabho, he says. Now, Krishna, you know, you have seen all those Chalachitram where the hero will come running. Suddenly, the villain will send one big lorry. Lorry will come in the middle. The hero will jump over the lorry. Our heroes can do anything. They can lift Govardhanam also. So he will jump over that lorry. He will kill 50 people and then finally go. The heroine will be waiting. He will go running with a good BG. A.R. Rahmanji will come complete. So we have seen this. Now Krishna enters Mathura. Now the elephant comes. Kovalaya Pita to kill Krishna. Krishna wins over that. Then WWF champions come. Mushtika Chanura. He wins over them. Then he jumps over Kamsa because Kamsa is the one who has troubled his parents. He kills Kamsa. Simple. Now generally people say, to kill Kamsa, the Lord was born. <laughs> to kill, see, we have not understood Paramatma in the Vedantic perspective. The Lord doesn't have to be born. I told you about his Sankalpa Shakti. If he says there is a tenth step, it will come. He doesn't have to literally take mortars and cement and make it. So why is he born? Only if he is born, he can prove to us that if you are born as a human, you too have to suffer. Manushya Janma is of suffering to make mistakes. That is why in Ramavataram, see, how, how was Rama? Sir, Rama was very honest. Correct. 
very disciplined correct he sir when when he was asked to be the king he said okay the next day when his father and his stepmother said rama go to the forest he said okay yes he said okay but there is one point there in aranya kandam when rama enters the forest a demon called viradha comes and abducts sita sita starts ram 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 lakshman lakshman because this viradha is kidnapping sita now rama runs behind viradha viradha leave sita leave sita so first kidnap happened by viradha second only by ravana this is kidnap 1.0 So while Sita was being kidnapped, Rama runs behind Viratha. He tells, "Leave my wife." Lakshmana also runs with his brother. That time, Rama tells, "See, Lakshmana, now my mother Kaikeyi will be happy that I am suffering." This is Rama's dialogue. Have we heard any Upanishad say this? No, because we feel that if we tell this dialogue, it may slightly bring down the image of Rama. But it's slight, I will whitewash it. It is there in Aranya Kandam check. i am being honest because when valmiki himself is honest why should we do this sanatana dharma should be about yes dharma artha kama moksha yes it is there our temples will have one panel that may show certain poses which may which we feel today in 21st century is not correct but our ancestors thought that all purusharthas are required for one's life so here we have rama say this later in um uh, i think um, uh, Aranya Kanda, or Kishkinda Kanda. Rama again says, "Let my mother Kaikeyi be happy now that I'm suffering." He says this twice. See, first time if he says, you can say it is slop of the thing. Huh? But second time he says, it is concurrent tighter value. Right? So he says. So what does it prove? Even if the divine chooses to be human, he will act human. When you act human, you'll always check who around you you can throw the blame. Isn't this a human? Why are you putting it so 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 far ahead? That our pocket is here, and then there, our vanda is here. Our mother is here. So he is responsible for the bad outcome of she day. So we all, as humans, we will always look around who to throw the blame on. That is human mentality. That is why somebody said, some yani said, to err is human, to forgive is divine. So in Krishna Vidaram, Krishna had not a very memorable journey we make it memorable he was born to one taken in the middle of the night he didn't even have the colostrum that comes from the mother and went to the other mother later at the age of 10 he was told these are not your parents they are your parents and then he had to come back his own uncle wanted to kill him imagine your own uncle running behind you with a knife <laughs> huh? then while he had a child called pradyumna that pradyumna was kidnapped later many years later how would rukmini's state of mind be she has lost her child later that boy comes married that is another shock <laughs> she loses her child then a few years later the boy who comes says i am your son with his wife instead of singing swagatam krishna she sang bhagya da lakshmi baramma Krishna's life. So, what does Rama Avataram and Krishna Avataram say? If the divine, even if the divine chooses to be born human, there will be problems because human life is full of problems. In that, like the lotus that emerges and blossoms from the dirty marshes, we should get out and get our knowledge enlightened so that we are never born again. See, manusya janma is every janma you have to try. I should not be born again. That is why Brahma Vidya Brahma Sutam says, find a way so that you are not born again. But not everybody will have this desire. If you go tell, we should not be born again. Some people say, no, I am happy now. So what if there is another janma? That is okay. See, moksha anubhavam or the ichha need not come for every person. Mumuk. See, for the mother, she may have a child who is a mumukshu. The mother will not be a mumukshu. She will be a bhubukshu. <laughs> mother will be a mumukshu. See, beyond a certain and limit the parents cannot correct the karma of their children many parents will, so what do we do now sir what do he doesn't listen to sir now doesn't listen leave achida visishtan pralaye just because he is born to you doesn't guarantee that he will also or she will also think about moksham parents should try whatever little they can the child should garner beyond that you have to leave 
then your spiritual journey will get affected. You try correct other's journey, your journey will not go anywhere. It will, you'll be in the same start position. You should see how to magnify your knowledge. Isha Vasi Upanishad, this year I have to listen. Next month I have to listen. Kena Upanishad, how to practically implement it in our life. This is should be your individual journey. Each Atma is N is equal to 1. Just because the husband and wife have come together, it doesn't mean like only if he surrenders to God, I will also surrender. Were you born together? Will you die together? No. It is his. Vilupta Murdhanya Lipikramanam. What is written, we won't know. Now, Krishna goes and kills his own uncle. Comes up. That is fine. Now, then he goes and Release his parents from the jail. His mother and father, he imagined Devaki state. After 10 years, she is seeing the child. She has lost six. Seventh is an abortion. Eighth child went away. 10 years later, she sees her son. She asks, What have you studied? She becomes an Indian mother. Huh? Krishna. What is education? <laughs> we don't have a school in Vrindavana. What can I do? We don't have a school. She was shocked. Everything is fine, but Nandagopa and Yashoda should have done something about your education. Vasu, she called her husband. <laughs> Vasu, what is the closest we can train our son. He said, he looked everywhere. Everywhere they are saying, show the TC of the previous school. <laughs> Everybody is asking, this boy has not gone to school. No LKG, Pre-KG, UKG, first grade, second grade, no grade. He's, he has to be rightfully in the fifth grade now. He has not gone anywhere. That is when he spots through search engine optimization. When they put crash course, there is one crash course. Sandipani Ashramam. Near indoor. So he has to go outdoor. <laughs> now, to get himself educated. Palarama also goes. Sandipani says, do you know to write? No. What will I teach? And he started teaching. But the beauty was 64 nights, which is 64 days, roughly. Krishna became adept and an expert in 64 forms of arts. Chatushashti. 64. Each is an art. Mimamsa Shastram, Tarka Shastram, Vedanta Shastram, Natya Shastram. Everything. Natya Shastram alone. You need years, janmas together to understand the karanas. Music, you need Nada Yogam. You need to understand Great musicians will be able to visualize the swaram. Shat jam. She is the mother for the next six swarams. Shat jam. So they will get into madhyamam and see whether it is ma 1 or ma 2. Prati madhyamam, shuddha madhyamam, sarigama, ma, ma. And all they will see, they will see the ma in it. They will meditate on madhyamam. They will meditate on panchamam. That itself is one janma. That is Sangeeta Shastra. Then Shilpa Shastram, Likhita Kena Mamaisha Shilpina. But he learned 64 arts in 64 days. Bhattadri wonders, Gatva Sandipanim Atha Chatushashti Ratrim Ahobihi Sarvagnyastvam. He gives an answer. Why could he master the 64 arts in 64 days, which is sheer, merely impossible? Because Sarvagnyastvam, he knows everything. But why, if he knows everything, why did he go to school? If he doesn't go to school, tomorrow, our ABCD will ask, Krishna did not go to school, why should I go to school? Krishna did not go, did you ask Krishna? That is why he went to school. Sarvagnyastvam, to prove to the world that you need an Acharya Sammandham. You need an association of a good Acharya to grasp. Otherwise, everybody, even Valmiki could have told, everybody buy one book from Amazon, read. No. Reading to some extent. You need an Acharya book. When you ask a doubt to the book, oh book, I want to ask you, it won't answer. But an Acharya will answer. Tadvidhiv pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya upadekshanti tegyanam jnaninaha tatvadarushinaha. 
So Sarvagnyastvam, he knew everything. We have had Acharyas also. Often an anecdote that is told about the great sage of Kanchi called as Chandrasekharendra Saraswati or Paramacharya. He had to ascend the Peetham of Kanchi at a very young age. Very, very young age. He was in a convent. Later, two Peethadipatis, one after the other, ascended to Paramapadam very soon in Kanchi Matam. So, he was brought as a Bala Sanyasi, very little boy. Then he was tutored in the Vedas. It was not as if a learned person has come to a Peetham. He was then tutored. Then he went to a place called Mahendra Mangalam near Mushiri. So the Math people took this little boy. I am talking about the 1910 to 1915 period. So this boy was taken to uh, Mahendra Mangalam and taught Veda and Veda Bhashyam. He was a little boy but he was a sannyasi holding the robes and ekadandam. Little boy. So the teacher who used to teach him the nuances of the Vedic aphorisms, Veda Bhashya, was a very age-old, aged person. So he would come and he would teach the boy who used to be seated by the banks of river Kaveri. And this boy, Bala Sanyasi, used to take a stick and used to be playing on the sands. The teacher used to keep teaching. The teacher felt a bit agitated. See, I am teaching something very relevant and important and this boy is playing on the sands of Kaveri. So, but he couldn't admonish the boy. He is a Peethadipati. A technical problem. So, what he did was he fell prostrated at the Bala Sanyasi, that time Mahapiriva, and said, see, I can't teach you anymore. You seem to be engaged in your own playful activities. I will, I can't teach you anymore. Then he playfully asked, what portion is left for you to teach? So he said, see, I have to teach you these four prashnams in Vedam and then teach you the meaning of it. That time Mahapriva said, now I will tell you what is the essence of those four portions we are, which you are yet to teach me. And he taught. At that point in time, the teacher thought, there is nothing more left to teach you. And he fell again. Sarvagnyastvam sahamusalinas. For certain people who are born... They are already fed with the data. Sarvagnyastvam sahamusalina sarvavidya grihitva putram nashtam yamanilaya nadakritam dakshinartam datva tasmai nijapura maga nadayan panchajanyam. So Krishna started learning under Sandipani along with his brother Balarabha. We have tomorrow the... They will surely tell you the schedule. But from my part, I have to tell you, I have got a lot of portions left. I have to do Kuchelopakhyanam. I have to do Santana Gopala Charitram. I have to do Krishna's marriage to Rukmini. Krishna's marriage to Satyabhama. See, Rama is easy. <laughs> One marriage. Here it will go on. Satyabhama, Jambhavati. Uh, certain marriages I have to skip. Then I have to talk about Krishna's son's marriage. Pradyumna to Mayavati. Not that elephant. <laughs> Mayavati. Another Mayavati. Okay. Now, then I have to talk about Krishna's grandson's marriage. To whom? To Usha. She was named Usha but she ne was not stitching. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to talk about. So Krishna and his grandson will get married parallelly. So all this I have to do and mainly Rukmini Vivaham. So tomorrow there is a Paddhati. You have to conclude Saptaham with Rukmini Kalyanam. So tomorrow we, I will have the Bhagyam of also seeing a confluence of Bhajana Sampradayam and Upanyasam. So tomorrow the schedule is simple. It will begin at 9. So please be here by 9. I think Sri Guru will give more instructions about what is to be done for tomorrow.